right. I think we're live. I think we're live. Can I get some um, bananas in chat? I really should find something else to test to make sure that you guys can actually hear me. But I'm assuming everything is good and fine and dandy. I never, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna like start talking and then it takes a little bit to connect and then there's that kind of feeling of uh, uh, or where it effectively dumps me in like ha halfway through a sentence. All right, so we got your live bananas, perfect. It's like the brown M&Ms, except for, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna be playing some Lobotomy Corporation today. This has been a, it's been on my to-do list for what is it, over a year now, two, two years? When was the last time I played Lobotomy Corporation? It's been a while. Wow, we are getting all sorts of fruit in chat. Um, when did I play Lobotomy Corporation last? 2022, so yeah, it was the beginning of last year. Uh, so it's been about a year and a half since I last played this, and rather than starting over, I'm just going to continue where I left off. Uh, I might turn the game volume down a smidge, uh, but I'm going to just continue where I left off and go from there, uh, because I have a bunch of like information on some of the uh, critters, the anomalies, uh, and I'd rather not have to do that again, again. Uh, I do have to figure out how to start over, because I don't want to do first day, so I'm assuming we hit continue and then, uh, press the button to go back. Um, but I have mods, uh, I have all sorts of mods installed. Uh, if you guys want to see the full mod list, it's on Discord. Um, but so, my characters, my characters cannot die permanently in, like, a bunch of other stuff. I know the more authentic version is to not use any of these mods, but this is going to, to this is going to take a very, very long time one way or another. And so I don't want to deal with it. Okay. Here's my problem. I, I don't even remember how to go back to the start. Okay, you can hit uh you can hit first aid. It saves the uh abnormality info. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Because yeah, we wanna we wanna start like a, a proper first day here. Uh or not a proper first day, a first day plus, new game plus, new game plus. Start new game with current abnormality obser observation levels. Yes. And my hope is it's also going to save a lot of other stuff. So we'll see what happens. One sin and hundreds of good deeds. It feeds on the evil that seeps out during conversations between people. Hello, X. I give you a warm welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. I'm Angela, your advisor and secretary. My role as an AI... Oh yeah, I guess it does just straight up. Uh, announced that she is a robot right from the get-go. Somebody was like, spoilers, she's a robot. And I did not actually remember if that was um, introduced in the game immediately. Uh, I, I remember most of this plot, but it's been a year and a half, and I've packed a lot of games in my brain since I last played this, so I'm going to just go through all of the dialogue as, uh, as though I'd never played before, and then we'll work our way up to, well, I mean, on my next day, I will not reread things. Uh, unless it's new. Anyway, my role as an AI is to assist you in it adjusting to your new workplace, so please have no worry in speaking with me or asking any questions. It's quite rare for an AI to have a name. I was born from one of the wings of the world. It signifies that I am one of the best to exist in this age. Ah, I know what you must be thinking. Your eyes show that you, th uh, you think I look too human to be an AI. Am I wrong? However, there's a great difference between us. I'm bound here. I cannot go where I please like you do. I may be able to operate the system of this corp corporation to open a door or prepare a cup, a cup of coffee for you, but I cannot take a step outside this building to bask in the sunlight or feel the gentle breeze. Now, in regards to my appearance, as you can see, the color of my hair is that of the morning sky after a light shower. The tone and shape of my voice is taken from the wisest person in the world. Lastly, my face is picturesque of the person who had the most beautiful smile. <laughs> Don't worry, that was a joke. There can be no such person on this earth. My appearance was designed with attractiveness to the largest number of people possible in mind. If the way I look is pleasing to your eye, then I'm working as intended. Moving on, artificial intelligence is more efficient in comparison to humans in terms of multitasking. I'm the best in a majority of work fields. I'm able to handle the work of several dozen people at once. I'm certain many people have lost their jobs because of me. It's a shame. Well, enough with intro introductions. Is there anything you would like to know? I'm just going to go through the list. Could you inform me about the company? That's not a bad thing to ask about. Let me put it this way. Your world is constantly growing, and the demand for energy is exponentially increasing as technolo uh, technologies advance. 
All conventional energy sources combined cannot sustain the world further. In search of a solution, we happen to stumble upon mysterious beings who we dubbed abnormalities. Then we figured out that energy could be harvested from these abnor abnormalities via a special method to isolate them in a controlled environment and then harvest energy from them. Our corporation became one of the wings of the world for this discovery that b benefits humanity in two ways. Once you're fully placed into the role as a manager, you will be able to access all current information on the abnormalities from the encyclopedia. It's very important that you know and understand these beings well to be successful in your position. For now, the encyclopedia's pages lay blank, but it'll be filled out little by little. Don't concern yourself too much with it. It's the task of your sub subordinates to pen it. You have joined the company at an opportune moment, by the way. Lobotomy Corporation is always looking to improve its harvesting processes. Our systems are continually updated to support this. Speaking of which, there was a new update to the system right before you arrived. That means that the working conditions have been approved upon, compared to those of your predecessors. Think of it as a small welcoming gift. Best of luck for us. I was just about to mention you. You don't understand the concept of patience, do you? Oh, pardon my manners, manager. I was talking to one of the other AIs that work here. I should introduce her to you. Our facility is a huge one, and even I would have trouble managing it on my own. So someone determined that there should be an AI to assume head control of each department. If I were to be considered the Cerebrum, they'd be the Cerebellum. Naturally, of course, I'd be your most trustworthy and capable companion among all the AIs. Well then, shall we greet her now? Forgot how long this intro is. The memories of all the Sephiroth are synchronized. Oh. Okay, there we go. So we got Malkuth. Hello, manager. Each day you'll need to expand one department. Are you ready to open up the control department and begin managing abnormalities? Yeah, I gotta remember to actually focus on my quest this time. Last time I was just gathering data and just trying to get as many, like, good employees as I can. It's back? It is back. I know you were waiting for this, Newt, and I've been... Ah, uh, wait. Okay. So it looks like one of my characters didn't come over. Why is... Su so we still have Susan. Uh... Okay, so we have all of my equipment. It's just my characters seem, seem to have gotten wiped. I'll make it work. And, I mean, I don't know. Worst comes to worst. We'll figure it out. Uh, do I plan on reading these stories and lore? Yeah, probably. Okay, do we have anything else? Uh, we do have two lob points, but I don't think I want to mess with that. And ego, ego list. Okay, Susan. What is my... What are my... Good things. Gosh, I don't even remember. We have a lot of equipment requirements. It looks like the Frost Splinter is fine. Ah, how do we equip characters? Uh, begin management hire. Well, we could actually hire some extra people. Yeah, characters are the only thing reset. So I have a mod that's supposed to make it uh, so that they don't get reset. But I guess it didn't work this time, or I didn't install it correctly. Yeah, it's, it should be the perma-agent mod, uh, but that was made back in 2019, so there's a very real, there's a very real possibility the, the characters, uh, that, that mod no longer works. I'm gonna see if I can get it functioning, um, because if, if I can, resetting to the first day is gonna be considerably less painful if I can keep all of my characters. I know modding for this game can be iffy, but I'm hoping I can... I'm hoping I can hoard, hoard some stuff. Strength and employee. But that's ex extra law. We don't care. Um, am I just incapable of seeing any kind of equipment management? Unless I'm not allowed to do equipment management at the moment. I don't know. Uh, I'm just not even going to think about it. Let's just dive in with Susan and go from there. Because it remembered Susan. Like, that's the weird part. Okay, select work. I legitimately do not remember... Oh, gosh. Okay, so everything kind of works with this guy. If I remember right, there's almost no penalty for one sin uh, and a hundred good deeds. So we might as well actually read the lore while we're here. Uh, let's see. Work success rate 10% with corresponding abnormality. Oh, so it only works for him. Uh, sanity records. A silent abnormality that understands the conflict between good and evil. Its empty eye sockets stare at those who encounter it. A giant skull that's attract, attached to a cross. It wears a crown of thorns. It floats about two meters above the ground. 
While its appearance is bizarre, it's rare to record an incident of violence against employees involving this abnormality. It feeds on the evil that seeps out during conversations between people. The assigned employee must kneel before it. Standing appears to be acceptable and present their evil by confessing their sins to it. The way it feeds is unknown. Excerpt from Experiment Records. We've cataloged the sins that a person can commit into three levels. Level 1, a small lie or action that either goes unnoticed or can be shared in jest. Level 2, sins that are more serious and only shared with those with the closest of friends. Level 3, sins so profound that they cannot be shared with anyone. These will be taken to the grave. Employee redacted. It had been assigned to confess level 1 sin. Energy production via abnormality increased by 12%. Employee redacted was assigned to confess level 2 sin. Energy production via the abnormality increased by 15%. We assigned employee redacted to confess a level 3 sin. One minute and 48 seconds after the employee was sent in, a bright flash of light was seen. The light was so bright that it could be seen outside the containment unit. Immediately following the light, there was a facility-wide power outage. The phenomenon lasted for two hours. Employee redacted lost six years of their memory. Further experiments were cancelled. Scientific ethics de decree that all footage of those who participated in the experiment to be kept sealed. However, the incident left us no choice but to review the footage of the containment unit. Holy smokes, there's a lot of dialogue in this one. I'm going to read it anyway because it's what makes this game interesting. Employee redacted. This happened during redacted around 2 4 p.m. Anyways, there's a railway about 20 minutes from my house. Some of my good friends and I decided to dress as forest animals. One of us got to go as a deer. It was a crude costume, but it could hardly be called one to be honest. Just a pair of clumsily made antlers and a dark outfit with some deer-like spots on it. Omitted. I don't know how our dear friend wandered, wandered into the woods. We didn't even notice he was missing for like an hour. We searched for him and finally found him in the bushes. We called out his name, and I'm not sure if it was from relief of finally finding us or what, but he started sprinting towards us, and that's when we heard it, the gunshots. Bang, bang, bang. When I came to my senses, I saw his blood splattered all the way to my feet. After that, not one of us dressed up as an animal ever again. That's all. By the way, is this really supposed to work? Observation log number four, underscore 435. Its eye sockets are empty. It is it is a skull after all. But I doubt that it's blind. It certainly has its gaze, fi gaze fixed on me. And I can somehow feel that it's listening to me. Confessing to it does lighten my heart, admittedly. Afterwards, we investigated the incident in the employee's hometown to get a better picture. We learned that a boy named Justin was shot and killed in a deer costume by hunters during the hunting season. Unlike the employee's confession, Justin was repeatedly bullied by the other kids. Witnesses said they heard the kids shout, Run, Justin, run, right before the gunshot. After the incident, the kids in the scene moved out of town and deer hunting was banned in the area. Excerpt from Abnormality Research Log, X392. Honestly, you can't expect all of our employees to give honest confessions to that skull. Around one, uh, every one in ten employees will tend to say something that's not completely true. It's a bit different from a lie. You can say that it's a subconscious excuse they make. They distort perspectives to justify their actions, even though they're aware that they should be telling the truth. Once this happens, the confession is no longer truly a confession. Yes, I'm talking about you trying to justify your tardiness for five minutes now. All right, so now that I've done that, hey, thank you, Ethan, for the 14 czar. I have no idea what currency czar is, uh, but that's a cool currency shorthand. Okay, so what are we even gonna do for this? Uh, realistically, what we should probably do is brain in purple. I mean, I think any of these are fine. I don't think there's a single downside to it, apart from maybe a bit of sanity loss. Um, but I might as well do a, a ch attachment training. Okay. We can go up to super speed. Now, here's the thing. I think I can go up to, like, even faster speed? There are mods for even faster speed. I might want to put, uh, put my time into it. Or, I, I might want to install that mod. Just so we can really zip zip through some of these. Though I could also see that screwing me over. Okay. So the real question is, how do I want to handle this? I guess we might as well just get the requisite energy for today. Oh. I double checked your mod list, and I think you didn't load them in right, since more detailed info mod should be saying the percent rate, rather than the descriptive stuff, base game. Oh. Yeah, it's possible. Because, yeah, I should have more detailed info and a bunch of other things. Um, here. I mean, we can we can go mess with mods, because I very much would, would like to have my mods as functional as possible. Would have been nice to, uh, 
to test this before I went back to the first day, but still, at higher speeds aren't advised. Early on, it's worth it. Later, not so much so. Uh, let's see. Also, sup, Anonis? I, I am so glad I hired you for that thumbnail. Okay, so what are we even going to do? Yeah, uh, I might as well mention uh, Anonis in chat is the person that did the YouTube thumbnail for this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, where is base mod? Okay, base mod. Okay. Czar is South African Rand. Oh, it used to be Zoid Africa. Huh. Okay, go to Steam, extract the files into the directory. It's that simple. Hmm. Okay, uh, if anybody wants to specifically take a look at my mod list and mod installation, I can do a double, uh, another double check between. I don't want to spend too much time managing mods here, but I would also prefer... Uh, you guys are going to get to see my hard drive uh, name. Not that it's particularly worrisome. Okay, I'm just going to put my overall Lobotomy Corporation file structure in Discord if somebody wants to take a look at that and see if I installed it wrong, because I'd like to get it right. Some of these mods are very helpful. Uh, let's see, having Wander and Shelby, Angela and X was neato. Yeah, I, I might get Shell to kind of help me out with some of this stuff, but not too much. Uh, unfortunately for her, the, the management aspect of this was not exactly something she was interested in. Uh, and so she was losing interest very quickly. And so it's almost easier that I just handle the whole thing myself. She's more of kind of like a cutscene and puzzles kind of gal, rather than management, management. In these days, I'll get back to actually drawing stuff. I know that feeling. Okay. Oh, it's currently melting down. Do I just send him back in? I think I just sent him back in. I'm hoping you'll actually finish this game sooner than later so you can play the sequel. Uh, due to its good deck building RPG. That's part of the reason why I wanted to do this. Uh, oh. What are these? Oh, shield bullets. I actually forgot about the bullets. Yeah, Shell might be more interesting in Library of Ruina. You're not wrong about that. The main thing is I know they're both kind of long and a little slow and kind of repetitive. And so what I'd almost maybe try and do is convince Shell to um, to hang out while I while I play these games and um, and specifically like just draw or whatever. And then if dialogue pops up, be like, hey, Shell, voice time. But we'll see. Uh, let's see. Forgot this game. I've been trying to remember the name for months now. Thank you. I have the name now. Yeah. And thanks for the uh, $5 super chat, Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> what an appropriate name for this. Now let's do workday complete. I need to get some other characters and start training them up. Okay, there's a ton of dialogue in Library of Marina. Okay. What do we have? We have Old Lady, we have Punishing Bird. I've never done this one. However, the curse continues eternally, never broken. I think I'm gonna go for the ones I don't know for the time being. Um, mainly just to get the info, even if it's a bad idea. Because uh, I'm probably gonna reset a couple of times here, so I might as well just go for the easy e EXP. Face the fear, build the future. That's the motto of our founder, the one who we refer to as A. Tell me, if you had to choose one, what part of the motto do you prefer? Build the future. The future is inevitable, but ever undecided. One may simply lie atop the sand of the future, or they may shape it with purpose. Lobotomy Corporation is an innovative company. The harvesting technologies we have discovered are such a... Please excuse my lack of vocabulary. It's simply remarkable. These technologies could be the salvation of mankind. With these, we will mold the future, creating brand new paths. Alright, so it looks like we're not meeting Malkuth until we're done with this one. Not sure 100% how the mods work. You might need to just reload the game to fix them. Maybe.
Um, I could quit out real quickly. Because, yeah, I should be able to recustomize characters, maybe. I guess, here's the real question. If I hire a new character, customized appearance costs one lob. If I do that, costs two lob. Okay, so yeah, none of my mods are currently working. I'm going to just quit out of the game and we'll just try relaunching it. Maybe that'll fix fix the problem. And if it doesn't, maybe it's... Uh, I know there was a patch back in 2021. Oh, Melka's story was also saved. So if you want to meet her, go to the story records. Oh, I see. Since I had seen the cutscenes already. That's unfortunate. I was hoping it would let me just see all of them over again and just like zip through them Renpy style. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. If I hire... Yeah, so it looks like none of my... Let's see, escape options to check mods. I don't think I have a single mod installed. Which is confusing. I do not want to spend forever managing this one. Because yeah, when I looked at base mod, this is going to bother me. I should have done some tests. Uh... To install base mod, go to wherever Steam Common Library... Oh. Lobotomy Corp data. I know what I did wrong. Alright, give me one second. I can get the mods working. I just have to figure out... I put them in the wrong folder because I'm a goofus. Okay, base mod. So base mods, equipment, data. Base mods, equipment, base. Guide, guide, and then managed. And put them all into... Lobotomy Corp. There we go. That should work now. I put it in the wrong thing. First time playing this game? No. No, I, I've I've played the intro to this twice now. Twice now. Yeah, wrong subfolder. Subfolder, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I've gotten up to day 25. Technically 26, but that's where I quit and got wrecked. Um, I have 21 episodes on YouTube in the Lobotomy Corporation playlist. So if you guys want to see this yourselves, uh, that's how you do it. I am not entirely sure. Can I check? Options? What did... Oh, mods. Here we go. What? Uh, what? Okay, so that's how we equip stuff. actually do any of these? Probably not. I don't actually remember if any of these are really good at the moment. But yeah, I think my mods are scuffed for whatever reason. At least we can get them that. Did you move the other mods or just base mod? I believe I moved every mod. You know, it, it should have every mod installed, which... Makes me question some things. I guess I could do guide. Change log? No, this wouldn't be it. Okay. I'm going to try going out to the main menu for a hot second. I hate doing this. This is my least favorite part of anything is getting the mods to function. Because, yeah, this should not be empty, but I don't know. I guess one option is... I'm just going to exit out for a hot second. We're going to do base mods. Uh, I'm going to just do defunct. Put everything in defunct for a hot second here. 
go back to mods and let's actually do like one or two very quick ones uh, to get it working properly. Because I don't think I want the Excalibur Warframe as nice as that would be to set up. Okay. Rinroar extract here. Live modding is the worst feeling. Ow. Oh. I shouldn't do. Should not extract base mod. Okay, there we go. Perma agent. We don't care about recustomization. Annoying deaths is the. Oh. And I just nuked my entire stream window. That's annoying. Free change experience. Gift boost? Don't know if I really need that one. Detailed info. And then the last one was. Base equipment. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave that for the time being. We're just going to do those four. If this works, this works. If this doesn't work, I don't know. I'm going to hope for the best. I'm sorry if me narrating through poking at mod configs. Like the least interesting thing, but I don't want to throw on, um. I don't want to throw on display capture in case bad things happen. Or you guys get to see like secret information like steam keys sent to me and some other stuff defunct unknown oh well we know the folder structure works <laughs> why is this so scuffed what did i do wrong okay requires base mod well that's not helpful Okay, perma agent. How do I install it? Install, put, oh, the folder. Oh, I think I think I know what I've done wrong. I was supposed to put the individual folders in, maybe. Yeah, it's throwing up an, oh, there's even an error text file. Patch success. Well, that's confusing. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. Mods. Once more into the attempt, maybe. Okay. Extract here. So I, I'm supposed to put the folders in. I thought for whatever reason I was just supposed to put the individual files. There. Get this work. Did the game update? It did. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that uh, this is the end of it and I don't have to do any more. I am looking forward to uh, Library for Ruina not having these issues. All right, let me check. Options, mods. Yes. Permanent agents, recustomization, annoying deaths. I was hoping I'd be able to save my my dudes from the last day. I guess I could go back to my old save file on my previous computer, but god, that would take like half an hour to retrieve that one. So we're just going to continue on. At at least it's functional now. We've got everything that we need. I permadeath is off and we can now mess with characters. So, wait. Higher 21. Uh, what does it mean by 21? Are like all of, wait, hire a new agent. Why does it say 21? Are like some of my old characters just lurking in there? I don't know, we'll find out, but at least I can now customize characters if I want to for free, which is in very important because we need a newt, nudie. Uh, yeah, all right, front hair, make a nice kind of teal green setup. I guess it's pretty close to Susan. What kind of hair do we want? Look. Customizing my characters is, like, weirdly important to me. That's, honestly, that's pretty good. What about normal eyes? I don't know. I kind of like that one. All right. Yeah, 21 free hires because you reset, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, at least I have another character that I can work with. 
we got Nudie as a bonus. In retrospect, uh, maybe I shouldn't have called him Nuti. Uh, because I, in retrospect, <laughs> now it sounds like he's nude. You know what? Whatever. Whatever, Nudie. Nudie Bronk. There we go. That's slightly better. Let's actually put some equipment on these characters and go from there. We do have the hypocrisy, but I think I'm just going to give both of them the ice spear and we're not going to think about the rest. I should be able... I think there was a mod that specifically makes it so I can actually have five of each of these. Um, but... Let's see. Uh, like five of each of every piece of equipment. Um, but I'm not going to bother. Do we want to get a third? Yeah, let's hire another one. Okay, customize, of course. What's this character's name going to be? Um, man. All right. So what is... Yeah, that, that's the right hair. Looks like a bird. How do, we, how do you get yellow? I forget. Oh gosh. It's almost impossible to get like good yellow with R RGB. Especially with this low saturation. I guess let's just go for black hair instead. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's fine. And uh, higher? Higher. There we go. Alright, ego list, what are we? What can we even equip onto them? Uh, we give the Teth. Let's go with the weird flower setup. And do we have like a gun? Uh, let's see, we do have the cherry blossoms. We do have today's expression. Oh, can we actually do a double? Ah, uh, needs fortitude too. All right, whatever, that's good enough. You don't need extra equipment. You yeah, like extra equipment. I'm a needless person. All right, so what's our next one? What the hell is this thing? I've never interacted with this before. Huh, what the? F what? All right, good luck, suckers. Um, let's just try instincts because I have nothing. Good luck, Newt. I guess I might as well uh, actually kick somebody in here. Oh, good, the work success rate. All right. Appalled by its grotesque experience, I appearance, it repeatedly tries to kill itself. Well then, uh, let's see. Q and E to speed things up a little bit. There we go. Sanity is taking some hits. I don't think this was the right goal. I know I'll get plenty of ex equipment. You just got to remember, I'm me. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Uh, let's see. So we tried the instinct. It was not too hot. What about this? 50% on insight. All right. 50% ain't terrible. Chuck in Susan. I don't think we need to worry about deaths this early on. Okay, this seems to be working a little bit better. Oh, Clive off melt meltdown. Not really a big deal. Not at the moment. Okay, we have more than half our energy. That's okay. Do repression? Okay, so it seems like repression is maybe the way to go, but that could also be a trap. <laughs> okay, 20, 255 red, 205 green, and 67 blue is a yellow. I just know that the saturation levels on this is, aren't the greatest. Okay. Uh, can we take a look at escape information? Actually, no. We should probably do these guidelines. Okay. Committing repression work with... That showed the best energy results. Uh, but negatively affected the health of it. Any work other than repression improved its health. Okay, so we can, we can repress it, but we have to do something else instead. Let's just do some attachment. Um, send Newt in. Yeah, there are a few that can show up on day two that can reliably kill your guys. I know the bird can kill you. And I know the... Um, I know the dog 
is super deadly. Though, I think the dog is a day three critter. Okay, it did not like that one. Also, Noodlelot has gone mad. Uh, did we lose Newt? Damn. Newt is just dead. <laughs> All right. So, fun fact, don't do attachment. Oh, yeah, of course. That is like an awful success chance. So we really have to alternate between insight. We don't have a sanity gun, do we? Um, you know what? Let's just retry the day. Let's undo that one. <laughs> I was very fast. Yeah. Okay, good. We get to keep our characters at the very least. Uh, strength and employed? No. I mean, we could. And they're all dressed up, so begin management. Let's just dive in. We can do this much, much faster than now that we know what we're looking for. Um. Okay, so we'll start with repression. Maybe we do two rounds of repression and then swap over to um, uh, two blue and then one white, maybe. Cross splinter is sanity. Well, it's unfortunate that Newt had, I think, that and died. I think the two characters that had the sanity weapons were quite dead. Okay. Not my best. Let's work on the uh, managerial guidelines. Then Susan in. They can take the sanity loss. We should probably just train everybody in sanity, at least for the moment. Hey, you keep your characters when resetting the day. You don't keep your research. I'm aware. I guess I could have actually used a sanity, but oh no, it's a shield bullet. I really should probably use those. Whoa! What the f- What? <laughs> okay. What was that? After repeated repression work, collapsed with a weak moan on the floor. Once it passed, River, who had carried out the work pro um, process, began to suffer. Unidentifiable began to suffer unidentifiable symptoms. Soon as born anew. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm not gonna reset. I'm just gonna get the info for this and then reset back to the beginning. I don't want to deal with this sucker. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. Did Newt get eaten? Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're just gonna get every bit of requisite. Holy shit, this thing is just, it sucks. At least we survived it, but I hate that. I hate this guy. It's awful. Everything about it is just mad stinky. All right, let's throw Nan back in and see what we can get. Yeah, if you're resetting, don't forget to use the lore first. Yep, or read the lore first. That's my plan. We're gonna get every bit of info we can on this one, uh, possibly fatally, and then we are going to uh, escape and not have to deal with this, hopefully. So we got the 10, we still have the escape information and the basic information. Fortunately, expensive sucker is gonna take a little bit of time. Let's see, this isn't the new game, right? No, it's it's not not yet. I think we did a repression. I think it's safe to do insight as much as I want, but it's bad for sanity. Okay. 
Uh, man might lose it. Nope. Okay. Basic information. Ugh. Beauty and the Beast. White damage. E box 12. Tap. On the plus side, we can do an, a repression next. I mean, the alternative is, to some degree, we could actually just send both of these in uh, to try and get their sanity up a little bit above 20. Nah, screw it, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. The magic pixel of sanity. Yeah. And this is why I want to be able to keep my agents upon resetting. Um, because if I can actually keep my agents, uh, permanently, uh, including their stats, then I don't have to worry about, like, retraining some of these things. And admittedly, I think Beauty and the Beast is actually just, uh, better if you suck. Like, I think it's one of those that responds better to media, uh, to a mediocre character's stats. But that's still not something I want to deal with. Yeah, so let's let's keep training sanity here. Okay, that one actually worked out. Did not kill. Okay, that was insight twice. Let's just send Nan back in. Twenty PE boxes for both of those. Holy smokes! Okay, so I I think I will probably just progress to the next day. I don't think I'm going to um, I don't think I'm going to get rid of Beauty and the Beast yet. We might as well see if we can get any other new things first. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast is better if you suck since the chances are higher with lower stats. Yeah, I don't actually. Is it? A, does it escape? It is a non-escaping entity. So to some degree, it's not the end of the world if I'm just bad at it, because the damage it does is not terrible. All right, we're going to proceed to the next day. Let's see if I uh, lost Newt. Okay, well, we don't have this one. I'm coming to you. You, who will be reduced to ash like me. Ooh, that's fun. Greetings, manager. It marks three days now that you've worked here. The number three is a mysterious one. In age-old fables, it's common for a mysterious entity to appear and tell the pr protagonist to utter three wishes. Sadly, I'm not a mage or a billionaire that can grant your wishes. However, I do happen to know what your predecessors wished for. There were many aspirations. Among them was the seeking of some kind of growth. To lead the company to prosperity, to achieve spiritual maturity, you name it. Each had wanted to flower in a different way. Which of those would you want? I wish to mature my spirit. Come to think of it, there was another manager who gave me such an answer. As you know, spiritual is rather is a rather obsolete term in today's world. So I asked them for the definition of spirit. Then that manager told me, well, un I unfortunately do not recall the details of that conversation. Even an AI cannot store every bit of data. Unnecessary information should be deleted for a smooth operation. You may be asking yourself if your predecessors managed to fulfill their wish. I suppose that that, or I suppose what happened to the others is isn't important after all. I do promise to cheer you on for the journey to your final goal, though. Alright. And yeah, we should probably talk to Malkuth at some point, just because. Get all that sweet, sweet lore for those characters. Okay, so, yep. Newt is back as though he was never gone. Do we want to get some more folks? Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to hire one new person per day, I think is going to be the answer. Um, we're going to have Cry gonna be blue okay you know completely erroneously I'm just going to assume that cry is a total fuzzball what is the most like fuzzy back there we can get I think I'm probably actually wrong here it's just impossible for me to know or care
I think I've run the gamut already, which is a little unfortunate. I did like that weird one with the gradation in the back. Okay, let's not do fuzzball. Let's just do... I don't know. Maybe we just do something like that. Unfortunately, a lot of the back hairs don't work with short hair that much. Is there just like a no hair option? There it is. All right, and honestly, I think that's a perfectly acceptable face to work with. I don't think I'm going to mess with anything else. All right, higher. It's kind of tempting to chuck some uh, lob points into fortitude and pr prudence just for the sake of anything, uh, but whatever. Where are my beards? Why can I not beard up my dudes? Okay, so we have what the hell? Okay, that's a that is a boy. That is but a wee lad. Um, you know what? I'm gonna chuck Newt in with some insight. Good luck, Newt. If this kills you, <laughs> ooh, we'll see. Oh, did uh, did this reset? Newt, timid newbie. No, it still has his equipment. I'm not actually sure what the death penalty is. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Okay, we could throw in Nan. Let's throw in Susan for the time being. Okay, and then start insight on cry. If you get the shrimp men, you can get beards. Oh, I forgot about the shrimp men. Okay, so it does damage. Oh, it does a lot of damage. All right, so let's take a look at you. When the work was normal, Clyfoth counter lowered with normal probability. When it was bad, lowered with a high probability. Uh-oh. That might be an escapee. Okay. Well, unfortunately, Newt is probably one of our tougher dudes. I'll just throw a cry in there. Uh, let's see. Newt go incite the burn creature. Uh, let's see. I think even the mod letting you keep people with nuke gear, did did you just rebuy it? No, I think it actually let me keep it that time. So I'm not really sure what's going on. If by some miracle it doesn't uh, nuke gear anymore, I will be a very happy camper. Okay, we could take a break if I wanted to. What's the last one? Okay. He escapes and explodes. Oh, really? Okay, so we, we might want to specifically worry about him a bit. Newt hasn't died yet. However, uh, considering this boy is an escapee and can and will explode, maybe I need to worry about it. Oh, did Susan die? No, Su Susan's still alive. Or Susan died on the last round. That's what it was. I don't know. I do have to rebuy pen penitence. Well, I do have to buy another ego suit. Okay, do we have all of the info on this one? We do. We just need... Uh, Buy some boxes. Okay, so I think I need its escape information ASAP. We'll probably throw Nan in. Hope for the best. Okay, that was insight last time, so we can do another repression. throw one of the other boys in. I guess we can look at its success chances. Okay, good I didn't try attachment. Looks like repression works. Not that well, and it's potentially... Um, pause? Yeah, Nan almost died on that one. I'm just going to throw Newt in. 
Oh yeah, it was Susan who died and lost all their stuff. Ooh, that sucks actually. Oh well. Okay, do we want to read Beauty and the Beast lore? Yeah. A self-loathing abnormality that spends every day letting out, uh, uh, letting out miserable screams. It wishes to break the cycle of the curse, but there's no way to do so. Beauty is once a fair lady with charming green eyes. One day this poor lady learns of a job opening at the manor of the Count, with the promise of a hefty payment. The Count had a monstrous appearance. Rumor says that anyone who enters his manor is never seen again. It must be that hideous monster preying on people. With that thought in her mind, she brought a very sharp knife with her. The lady was hired and worked at the manor. Contrary to the rumor, the monster was nowhere to be seen. Sometimes at night, she could hear a voice. It was very kind and compensated her for her troubles handsomely. Working in the manor, the lady bore a greedy thought. that the Count was gone, I could take all his possessions for myself. One day, she went inside the Count's room. The room that she was instructed to never enter during the day. There she saw the Count's true form. He was a truly horrend he was truly horrendous. Hundreds of eyes, four legs, it was neither human nor animal. The lady thought perhaps such a hideous monster could be better would be better off if it didn't exist. She proceeded to stab the beast with her knife. Surprisingly, the beast laughed in its last moments. Before the lady could even ask why I was laughing, she began to change. Hundreds of eyes formed, and a thick coat of fur grew on her. Soon she turned into the beast. Now the manor and all its riches belong to her. Rumor says that anyone who dares to enter the Count's manor is never seen again. Okay. Uh, oh, we also have uh, Bernie Boy here. Fly Foth counter. Ooh, ooh. Uh, defensive statistics are trash, but it takes the form of a girl burnt to ashes, even though there's nothing left to burn. The fire still doesn't extinguish. A matchstick impales the girl's body like a stake. Usually the match is always lit. Well, the abnormality shows no sign of activity. Because of this, the employees often speculate that the matchstick may be the abnormality's true body. However, recently, the ashen figure was seen crying, according to witnesses. Excerpt from the abnormality specialist doctor redacted researches log. Or, or redacted's research log. The charred body represents the child's crumbled hope, while the ever-blazing flame represents the obsession for affe affection. It's always in conflict with the contradiction between these two. We paid a boatload, and that's all they have to say. Excerpt from a recorded staff conversation. Well, she's like a ticking time bomb. No one can tell if she's in a good mood or not. We just hope that we won't be the ones blown up before entering the containment unit. We won't get any better. We can only try to keep her from getting worse. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Okay, work damage unknown. Yay! Uh, let's see. Okay, Newt. Yeah, it pretty much has to be insight. Well, at least I'll have some very insightful characters. Uh, let's see. It was repression work last time, so we should probably do some more of that. Which of these characters can actually handle it? I guess I'll throw Cry in. Good luck, Cry. Hopefully you don't die. Yeah, being in the abnormality page does not pause the game. Yeah, I noticed it. Luckily, nothing was going on in the background, so I wasn't worrying about it. But, uh... That is going to screw me over at some point, I guarantee. Okay, only a little bit more. Yeah, my personal preference is to have the entire tier 1 filled with a bunch of non-escapees. Uh, because that would make my life much easier. I guess we could also potentially have a bunch of uh, characters that are built around the idea... Um... Hey, Newt's fortitude went up. I'm just going to keep sending them in. Okay, we did insight with Beauty and the Beast, so we can probably do one of these. Um, uh, but yeah, I'd like to have a bunch of non-escaping tier 1 abnormalities, because if I do that, then I don't have to worry. Wait, what's melting down? Nothing. Oh, because it was probably Beauty and the Beast, and it just happened immediately. Because, yeah, if I never have to look at this place because nothing's actually going wrong here, that would be easy for me. Okay, let's grab that basic information. I think that's everything? Okay. Looks like it might be escaping soon, which is uh, d dubious. Okay. I'm going to throw Cry in. 
He'll probably survive. Okay, work damage is red. Oh, so I shouldn't be sending Nan in because they take bonus damage. Is that a gun? Pretty sure it is, yes. It is the fourth match flame. Very slow, long range. It's a cannon. Oh. Somebody lost it. Okay. How do I tell people to go... S uh, order suppression. Please tell me you have a sanity gun. They do black. Oh, wait. Put him down. <laughs> um, yeah, that that was a thing that happened. Oops. Black is health and sanity. Yeah, I figured that out. I suppose. Okay, whatever. Um. Okay, so we need 60 more boxes for Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, if they have high health, it can work. Yeah, well, we just gunned down a total newbie. Oops. I guess let's just throw Susan in that one. Oh. I guess that's our second fatality of the day. Maybe I should... Maybe I should... Uh, not... Uh, let's see. Am I missing anything else here? No. Oh, shoot. Didn't realize it was melting down. Uh, alright. Well, I guess I could have actually just ended the work day. I'm still kind of... I No, we want to do one more of these. Because I want to get the outfit for the Scorched Girl. Because if I get that, that gives us a character that is specifically built around managing them. I mean, honestly, the, uh, the horn suit is not particularly bad either. Yeah, 25 boxes. I don't think I care too much for the cannon. Do you get EXP for dead characters with the mod? Um, yeah. Nah, I don't know. I don't think so. How have they not escaped yet? Oh, there it is. Hey, Susan. I forget. How do you order suppress suppression again? Order suppression. There we go. I want to take a look at it. Act type red. Resist a bunch of that stuff. Good luck, Susan. I believe in you. Beat it. Beat it into submission. Oh. Susan was fine. What? Maybe it's because it was just moving? I don't know. Uh, let's just workday complete that one. Proceed to the next day? Sure. Susan was not the target, so it actually picks a specific target? 
I'll have to keep that in mind. Save us now and forevermore. The truth shall set us free. Do you take pride in what you do here? If not, this recent news will likely change your mind. After your arrival, the rate of energy output is increased by 13%. If you still don't feel the significance of this figure, let me add that it's a record-breaking percentage. How do you feel? I can take pride in that. Ever since you began working here, the company has been taking strides in improvement. It means you are performing your role well. This shows that there should only be good news to come. A machine such as myself doesn't flatter easily. It's good to know that you're happy with your work. I remember your face. Uh, the very first time you came here. You were so withdrawn, face all grey and grim. And you're all nervous about my appearance. Or my presence. Don't worry, it's okay for you to be happy now. Rather, it's a special day. Do you see that bottle of champagne on the table? Allow me to pour you a glass. Shall we toast? Ah, today's occasion is not something as monumental as someone's birthday, or the company's day of founding. We lost an employee for the first time yesterday. In fact, many more people shall follow. I'm telling you this in case you were unexpectedly shocked by the news. <laughs> they, have known the, they had known the risks from the beginning. The company grows, fertilized by their sacrifices. It's as simp simple as that. I'm sure they would have felt proud of themselves as they took their final breath. Accepting their deaths with equanimity would be the greatest respect you can pay to them. That is why I popped this bottle of champagne I've kept for so long. Three cheers for the deceased, in memoriam of their noble sacrifices. I'll drink the champagne. Allow me to give you a small bit of advice. To properly drink a glass of champagne, one should gently lower the stem of the glass and take it in lightly, savoring the bubbles. Perfect. Just like that. Fun fact, I hate champagne and most bubbly drinks. It's really painful on my mouth. I've got like a really sensitive mouth for some reason, and so like, carbonation just sucks. All right, let's hire uh, somebody else. Who are we who are we hiring today? Uh oh, here we go. It's a mooch up in here. Now, mooch is the most regular person ever. Yeah, let's go with that. Back hair. I am unsure. I think we have probably just no back hair. Okay, but eyes. Where's the most regular person eyes? There we go. I think, I think we've got our mooch. It is really tempting to give these characters at least a little bit of fortitude and prudence. I think when I hire them, let's do that. Just so they don't keep getting blown up. Um... And yeah, it looks like all of my characters that have exploded have lost their equipment. Um, looks like they keep their stat training to some degree. So for example, Nan, Nan has more SP, but yeah, their gear is gone. So I'll have to keep that in mind, but that, that's going to get a little expensive. Oh well. Uh, let's see, so how do we want to do this one? So is this a fresh save or did we restart from day one on an existing save? Uh, day one, so it, it's not fresh. I've got some information. I've got some equipment. Uh, I would have kept my characters, but I goofed it and didn't install the mods right. It's fine. Uh, let's see, who is our, who has the most amount of HP here? I mean, sadly, I almost feel like we're just gonna send the mooch in. Uh, let's see. We want to take a look at Ego list. Ego suits. Where's our new toasty armor? That I bought. Pethorn. There it is. Mooch. You're going... Wait. Oops. <laughs> Mooch has secret back... Secretly long bat, uh, hair in the back. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. And you know what? I'll just... Give a pistol. Okay. This one's kind of sanity. I mean, the standard uniform is not strictly terrible. Um, I could throw on noise. Do I have a character that has level 2 prudence? Nan, to some lesser degree. I guess we might as well give a lot of the characters 
instead just the penitence weapon because I can get an infinite amount of those. And to some degree, is there? Yeah, there is the penitent suit. I should probably just put everybody in peni penitent suits because, like, no matter what, no matter what happens, we are never gonna run out of pet penitence gear. I guess the one one issue is every if everybody is queued up to do white damage, we're gonna be in trouble. So I'll give two of them the red stick. There we go. That should be better. The standard uniform isn't good. Sorry, when I when I was thinking of standard uniform, I was thinking about the one sin uniform. Uh, because the one sin uniform is genuinely quite good. Somewhat. Okay, begin management. There's a lot of bald dudes in the background this time around. Alright, so what is this? Uh <laughs> that is a spooky that is a spooky thing. Alright, so we want to do insight on the mooch. I guess I could do a repression here. I'll send Cry and hopefully don't kill him. And... Uh, Susan! My favorite Patsy! Here's exactly what I need to do. I'm just gonna chuck Susan at the book. And if... When they inevitably explode after reading it for five minutes straight, it's fine. It can't hurt you as long as you don't read. Well, as far as I know, Susan is functionally illiterate. So, good luck, Susan. You'll just be there for a while. Well, that didn't work. What? Oh, okay. Who reads this book will experience an increase in prudence. Ah, it's a number of uses, not time. That's slightly unfortunate for me. I was hoping it would be a time-based one, uh, like the yeah, the growth flipper, because if it's the growth flipper, uh, you can just stick a character in there for the day and you just learn all the information you possibly need. Ah, uh, where's Cry and why is he not healing? Oh, is it that bug again? It might be. Here, let's let's just send uh Cry in there. Well, Susan, your fate was sealed. The moment you became an employee. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, oh, Susan is, nope, not uncontrollable anymore. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to put Susan. Uh, I'm just going to let Susan read that book a bunch. Uh, let's see. Ah, can be read until one's prudence reaches its limit. Prudence is now four. So maybe we should not send Susan on this one. And the other thing is, we could actually just end the day. Nah. Okay, so who's got a prudence of one? Cry. Good luck. Alright, keep chucking Mooch in. Keep chucking Non in. Because the thing is, we don't actually have to do repression. And the damage on Beauty and the Beast is not bad. So, like, in retrospect, Beauty and the Beast is one of the more benign ones. Probably get back in there. Keep looking at the book. Okay. Ah, the more one reads, the more they'll become vulnerable to white damage. Ah, you're not done yet, are you? Nope, go back in there. Keep looking at the book. 
But yeah, if I just stick to insights on uh on this, maybe it isn't so bad. I guess our success rate goes down really badly. But even then there's no real penalty. Uh oh. Order usage. Uh not cry this time. Newt. Behold the book. Okay. Ah, any employee who panics after reading this book will perish immediately. Wait, is skin prophecy just like actually really easy? I guess the main problem is the vulnerability to white damage. Yeah, so it's a 1.5 time. So it's actually kind of rough. But it's not that bad. Alright, so we're done with Beauty and the Beast, Scorched Girl. Uh, let's see. So insight works better. Repression is not the worst. But it has a lower success rate, and we kind of don't want that. So there's Wonder planning on doing a full playthrough. It's a long game with ser serious difficulty spikes. It'd be cool if you stuck with it, though. I'm hoping with the whole YouTube streaming thing that I'm going to do. So, I have two things that I specifically want to do um, kind of with my channel going for the next year or two. Um, is one, I very much want to... Who's got enough... Actually, everybody has enough sanity to deal with this. Though, Nan's bugged out for a second. Okay, so... I think I'm functionally going to stop streaming on on, um, on Twitch. I I just legitimately feel much better as a person if I'm not streaming there. Uh, which might sound weird, but I just... I love my audience on that side. I hate that platform. It, Amazon just makes me feel weird and not in a good way. And to some degree, I, I just kind of want to move away from it. Uh, let's see. And we can now get the cannon. So that's all I need. Uh, and so, uh, one of the other reasons why is Let's Plays have stopped being super viable on YouTube. Uh, just because the sequential content, uh, YouTube just kind of suppresses that stuff in a slightly unfortunate manner from my perspective. Just because I, you know, uh, I do miss doing Let's Play series, but I'm also perfectly fine not doing them anymore. And so, what I've discovered, I think, is that if I stream on YouTube, I get the same effect and same feeling, but without any of the uh, the back-end management, I can just stream the full game to completion and say, yep, that was good enough, and... Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just going to throw a cry in there. Even if the success rate is low, I don't know what the damage is going to be, because it's not like Beauty and the Beast escapes. And it's only, it's only bad if it, um, oh, he's getting max. I think he's got enough that it's not a problem. Whew. It does hurt, though. We don't get as many boxes. Uh, all of the extra points, long hair on Mooch is amazing. Oh, they've got the match in their mouth, too. Yeah, that'd do it. What is the, uh, Scorch Girl thing? Fourth match flame, mouth two, HP four. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't remember, I think there's a way that you can lock ego equipment. But yeah, streaming on YouTube is just a live playthrough series. Yeah, exactly. And so I feel like it's a, a good way for me to go back to doing the things that I I liked to do um, beforehand, but in a little, little bit more of a controlled version, because right now, you know, my main mainstay is just Indian impressions one-off videos on games that I think are really cool. And then I can do streams on the games that I really, really, really want to finish. So it's going to be Lobotomy Corporation, um, Unsighted. What are some other good examples? Norco. I'd like to do a run in Norco. It's Citizen Sleeper 1 and 2. 
Um, games that I specifically want to preserve is like, these are some of the best games I've ever played. That's going to be what I start streaming. Um, because that'll make me happier. And also because I want to start doing game reviews on those really good games. Our founder, A, has said this to me many a time. Each successful experiment makes you a better person. The greatness of this company was founded on the multitudes of trials and hardships. Though you too shall become great. Each day in the company is a sm another small experiment towards shaping your life for the better. How has your day been today? Well, of course it was fine. Let's spread the pleasantries, no? Manager, how, is, how has your life been? Nothing spectacular. Just okay. Leading a normal life could be considered an achievement in this day and age. Although, one can always improve the quality of their life. This is a simple metaphor, but the seed of a tree will not grow just anywhere. It requires fertile soil, the right temperature, and fresh water. However, most seeds fall on barren soil. For those m malfallen seeds, stretching out their roots and sprouting even small leaves are challenges full of pain. I cannot provide you with water or sunlight. However, I will do my best to tend to the soil. Okay, so when we finish this day, then we'll do a bunch of lore, I think. Okay, so we don't have anything new. We got a bunch of characters. Save stuff. Begin management. There's supposed to be a thing about re-customizing character appearance, but I guess I've goofed that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. So who do we chuck into this? So we do not want to send Nan in, because Nan's going to get cooked. All the other characters are somewhat fine. For whatever reason, Cry... Why is Cryoris' stat super trash? <laughs> I have no idea. I guess Susan's also bad. Let's just do a... Uh, a full day... Talk and just see what we can get. Let's give Newt that. And start training some attachment. There. But yeah, don't don't spoil stuff. Like, please. At all. I I'm going to have a pretty hefty ban hammer. Uh if I see anybody even coming close to spoilers. Because I'm not gonna say that the plot on this game is not it's not a huge draw for me. Um the plot is just there, but on the flip side, I know some other people might not, uh... Might, uh, maybe haven't seen it themselves and haven't played it. And I would hate to deny that to them. Yeah, the book upgrades aren't permanent. Yep. They're nice, but I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay, so what do we want to... Right, I was going to work on attachment with this. We want to get our, our purple up. Um, let's throw Newt into that. Insight. Who's best? I mean, man. Get over there. Okay, Scorched Girl. Doesn't seem like it escapes very often. Okay, so half the energy needed. Fine. Do repression, just chuck in the mooch. Work on him. Are the fireworks in my area? Not too bad yet. Oh gosh, Susan's almost dead. How is Susan almost dead? Oh gosh. Torch girl just cooked him. Wait. Susan, how are you alive? <laughs> I think Susan is actually just dead. <laughs> um Hey Susan! Su Susan with your zero HP. Okay, so I'll have to work on that in a second. Uh, let's see. And it doesn't seem like either of them are healing, which is a bit of a worry. I don't know if that's a visual bug or like an actual thing I need to worry about. Oh, good luck, Fry. Don't worry, decimals exist. Yeah, but I want them to heal. That's the problem.
Okay. So I could grind for some stats, but I think I'm just gonna not. We'll just make it work. Hugh Susan to die. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, so I was gonna check. Pause here. Not memory repository, manager's manual. Finishing management. How do we um how do we see old cutscenes? Because it's not the manual. Is it a uh, between day thing? Yeah, both Chrys Cryoris and uh, Susan are, are currently incapable of healing at the moment, and that's a little worrying. Okay, main main menu. Alright, whatever. To Susan to die. Good luck, Susan. Uh, looks like Cry's not going to get their sanity back. You know, I got a lot of white guns, actually. I'm going to see if I can get... Uh, Prioris to lose their lose their mind a bit. Uh, it looks like Nan ain't getting their sanity back either. There we go. I don't even know what happens with skin prophecy. Like, what if it does melt down? I'm assuming nothing. Nope. Cry is still messed up. Susan's messed up. Alright, Susan. Uh... Yeah, good luck and get in there. Yeah, some of the characters are still healing, just... Not all of them. I think once we get a second character... I don't know if it's an entity pre preventing them from healing. I'm assuming it's just a bug. Could also be related to... I don't know. Uh, could be related to anything. Uh, like one of my mods could be messing it up. Or... Eh. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we still have to have somebody inside the Scorched Girl. Okay, missing a meltdown tanks your energy a bit. That's what it is. Thank you. Alright, let's uh probably do Scorch Girl and go read some lore and then end day. Oh. This is causing Newt some harm. Uh Okay. Newt's pulling it pulling it around. Almost died. Alright, work day complete. I'm going to be right back. Oh, that's a wholly new creature I've never seen before, so I guess let's in interact with it. So SCP Wanderbot rules the government? No. I'm just a middle manager, also a necromancer, I think. T0154. What's really pitiful is people like you dying to the likes of me. As you're aware, there are numerous employees working for our company. The majority of them would like to know more about you as a person. Some will take the initiative and attempt to approach you first. It's rather funny, knowing who you, who you are will not do anything to improve their odds. There are no regulations to prevent them from coming all the way to your office to interact with you face to face, unfortunately. It seems the one who set those rules in place did not consider situations like this. And I suppose this may be a good opportunity for you to show them that you're generous and caring you're generous and caring enough to have chit chats with your subordinates. Words tend to travel faster than you think. I will not stop you from meeting with someone, if there are employees who wish to visit you. But please keep in mind that you do not have to do everything they ask of you. Simply thank them for their effort. Tell them you hope they will keep up the good work. That will benefit both parties, don't you think? Are you still following me? What they, we need is a gesture of goodwill and nothing more. Do not go overboard and listen to whatever nonsense they have to say. Give them a vending machine, and the next day they will come, in, come knocking, demanding a bar. 
I expect you to make the right decision. All right, so we have information team. I guess let's interact with it, but it's time to go look at some lore first. I'll do like two or three dialogues with the other characters until we catch up. Uh, as long as the character has been introduced, maybe. Yeah, let's go with that as an option. Okay, uh, let's see. So main menu? That's probably main menu if I want to see prior lore. First aid tutorial challenge mode. Options. Ah, story. Here we go. Okay, so we've done this one. Have we done this one? We've done this one. What about this one? Three days you've worked here. Three is mysterious. Nope, seen that one. Do you take pride? Yep. Okay. Oh, no, those are separate. Sephiroth dialogues. Here we go. Uh, so, yeah, let's just talk to Mal Malkith four times and then we'll, we'll move on. Wow, I've actually seen a lot of these. You can hear rush footsteps from behind. Manager, manager. I arrived just on time, right? Right? The time is only about a minute late. Well, I guess it still counts as on time. Congratulations on joining Lobotomy Corporation, manager. I do not want to disturb this touching moment, Malkith, but every second counts in Lobotomy Corporation. Please make your introduction as brief as possible and go prepare for the meeting. Huh, seems Miss Angela is in a good mood, isn't in a good mood today. But hey, at least the other Sephiroth are looking forward to meeting you. Well, maybe not all of them. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Malkath. I'm in charge of the control team. Since we're the control team, we have a great deal of responsibility. I'll try my best to help you by improving the basic functions of this facility manager. I'm sure you're a bit nervous right now. It takes a bit of time to get used to things around here. I know from experience. Don't worry, I'll be sure to help you. I am, um, not exactly the best at everything. I used to be a problem Sephira, you know? I would sew buttons onto a shirt in the wrong direction or add salt instead of sugar to food. But still, you can do it, just like I managed to. I'm sure you'll succeed, manager. I'll give you an easy task since it's your first day here. I wish you the best, the best of luck. Wham, 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 wham. I can't take it anymore, manager. You're in there, right? I have to get out of here, please. I know you're capable of it. You're the manager. You're not the same as the rest of us. You can do anything. Why do you want to quit? Don't you like working here in the control team? Every day is here is a delight for me. It's so horrible. I can't take it anymore. I'll go insane. Nothing here is normal. Do you really think you can't handle it? Please. I don't want to be here. Let me out of here, please. Manager, even though you're the head of this facility, that employee belongs to my department, so I believe I can take care of this. Let me handle this, please. Uh, let her handle it. Thanks for acknowledging my position. Please don't be alarmed. These kinds of things happen quite often. Oh, right. It must be your, the first time you're seeing something like this. Usually, Miss Angela or I handle this kind of stuff. It's just a tiny hiccup. Nothing for you to worry about. No, please, manager, please. Those were some noises. Uh, so I think we get to go through, uh, do we get these for every time we've un unlocked an upgrade for them? I bet that's it. There's a bit of a confusion last time, wasn't there? Usually I'm in charge of security at, of your office. However, it seems that I failed to pay close enough attention to the Sephira meeting room. I heard that a control team employee has resigned from the corporation. Good job. You do know what it means to resign here in the company, don't you? I'll take that as a no. I do sometimes miscalculate what information I should deliver to you and what I shouldn't. Some aspects of our company that I consider natural and obvious may come as quite a shock to you. We have a variety of roles here. It's a well-structured play. Every actor has a role and they must be faithful to their part without any error, synergizing with each other. Now imagine that one of the actors decides to leave the stage because they didn't like their role. The actor should have played their predetermined part at the predetermined timing before making their exit stage left. But to leave the stage without fulfilling their part means that the life of the role and its actor are finished. That is what we mean when we say someone resigns. Great job, manager. You did exactly what I asked of you. I knew you could do it. You'll never guess how much I rooted for you back there. As for me, the day went all right. We covered a joint emergency protocol dr drill for my team. Not a single dropout or injury. Everyone did a good job. Not to say that it was perfect, though. By the way, manager, have you seen something creepier than the abnormalities? Those entities that wander the facility, unable to be contained, sometimes they manifest themselves in the corridors. The drills do no good when you encounter them, since we don't have enough data on them. But we always have to stay alert. No matter how meticulous our plan is, we can't control the unknown. Sometimes when I encounter them, I get a strange feeling. 
not like fear or anything. Some other sensation. Strange, isn't it? I feel nauseous, like something within me is palpitating out of control. It feels like I'm no longer myself. How can I describe it? Like something's wriggling inside of me. Little by little. Ugh. You did it again, and you did it flawlessly too. I myself have a lot of work to do. If you look at my notebook, my to-do list is always so full. Wow, don't I know it. But I know I can get through it. I should do my best, like I always have. I know I'm slower than the others. I always have to check my list or I'll miss something important. That's why I have this notebook with me at all time. Can't leave my leave any mistakes, you know? I've been carrying it for so long it's almost worn out. It's been with me ever since I began working here as the sephira of the control team. I know Lady Angela worries about me from time to time, but I've got everything under control. I feel like this is the kind of life I've been yearning for ever, ever since a long, long time ago. Maybe even before, oops, missed that one. Feels like I've wished for the same thing before, in some other place that wasn't the control team. Elkith, please finish the report I requested by the end of today. Sure thing, boss. I've got it right here on my list. I'll have it turned in by the end of the day. Well, I should get going now. It's a pleasure talking to you, manager. That's eerie. The AIs here, they're all unstable, with the exception of me. It's especially bad for Melkith, you've noticed, haven't you? I can't complain, though. It only makes it easier for me to control her. Okay, so let's, um, that's three. Let's stop, go back to things, and, uh, actually keep playing. Yeah, every time you do one of their missions, you get another one of those scenes. That's what I was thinking. So I, I'm gonna try and synchronize it up, so we'll, um... We'll do one of the missions for Purple Guy, do his dialogue, and then Melkoth's last dialogue as well. Well, do we want to get a new character, seeing as I have uh, plenty of lob points? Probably. Uh, let's throw Nan and Newt down and hire a new person. I'm just going to hire a new person vaguely every day. Um, Who do we even name this one? Trying to think of frequent regs. I'll just look at Discord. Where's my Discord? There it is. Okay. We'll do paradox. Ooh, I like those eyes. Yeah, this is pretty good. Let's go. Um, we don't have a gray-haired character, right? I think that's a pretty perfect paradox that we can pull off. Just. Right off the bat. Let's do the usual give them one one point in fortitude and prudence just so they don't get bodied. Oh, wait, they suddenly have a mouth now. But it's not a bad mouth, so that sounds good. Uh Okay, so we want to do ego list. Let's do let's take a look at Paradox. And nobody died yesterday. That's actually kind of a plus. Do you wanna give them the toasty armor? I like the toasty armor, it matches the hair. And we have six people, I think, three white, two red. Uh, cannon. There. Alright, so what is, um... Well, they look harmless. Ah, <laughs> uh, Newt, you are doomed. Anyway, uh, so beyond that, Scorched Girl. I gotta level up Cry and Susan's HP, otherwise they're kind of toasted. At least my sanity is very high. Yeah, should we buff the previous cast to 4-2 so they're slightly tankier? I think that's the goal. Oh, shoot. Newt's getting bodied. Um, this day might be over really fast. Come oh, on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, ho, 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 holy smokes. Okay, don't, don't do that again. Instinct work much better. Let's hope they're not an escapee. Paradox is also getting... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I recognize this sucker. 270. Uh, let's wait for these two to heal up before we do anything about that. All right, there you go. Hey, you two, fight him. Uh, 
You go the other direction. Hey, everybody, go fight him. Ah! <laughs> Oh, this is a bad sign. Look, oh. Killed the heck out of something. All right, let's do a red shield bullet. Oh, on whoever. All right, looks like it was wailing on Susan. Thank Gord for bullets. All right. I'll have to use those more often because they actually seem pretty good. Now, can I just use them freely? Huh. Or did we lose a character? No, I think they're fine. Alright, so I was really hoping this character would not be an escapee. But it looks like they, uh, they can and will bail on me. Okay, there is a counter to the... Ah, there we go. Oh, it's based on how many rooms I've unlocked. Well, it seemed to like that. So that's a good sign. Oh, it is a very simple boy. My assumption is don't try and talk to it. Looks like we also have a dawn ordeal. Ah, uh, you also reload every Clyphoth meltdown. Oh, wow. Holy shit, that's game changing. I was actually legitimately wondering how I was ever supposed to win this game, and it seems like the bullets might actually be part of it. When the work is bad, it lowered. Yep, that sounds about right for this boyo. Just chuck Susan in. Uh, do we want to do more? I mean, we definitely need more more purple. Uh oh. Okay. So let's slow this down. I usually do this one at high speed, and in retrospect, that's a bad idea. Newt, get out of there. M Mooch seems to be doing fine. I think these characters are just... awful. Oh, do we... Well, they're dead. I think neither of these characters are particularly well built for physical. Maybe. Well, we had a casualty, which is never a good sign. No, he dead. Oh, they do black. Does the Scorched Girl got out too? Um, I think we want to just retry this day. That was a little bit more, that was a little bit more scuffed than I wanted it to be. At least we still have Paradox. Um, yeah. All right, select work, instincts. Chuck Nan into it. I forget, when does the, um, oh, it's the next one, of course. Well, we might as well speed that along a little bit. I was like, when does it trigger? And the answer is, of course, when it just says it's the next one up. 
So I think what I'll, I will do the next time that happens is probably just get uh, all of my characters in one place and ready to do a beatdown. Right, let's take a look at those. It does seem like it it's fine with attachment work. Not great with it, but... Not insanely bad, either. Oh, we've got Dawn next. Okay, so it does actually randomly cycle. That's appreciated. Okay, let's see, do you have enough? Yeah, let's go for all of those. It seems like for the most part we want to do insi instincts though. Oh. How do I know who the target is? On the flip side. Oh. Well, that was fast. You should know once you see them. Matchstick above their head. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna focus on this. Uh, Newt, why don't you head up there? Or actually, no, stay here. I'll keep them together. Unfortunately, we need some better gear to really deal with some of these things. Unfortunately, I haven't trained a whole lot of my characters red at all. Uh-oh. Okay. That could have gone better. Okay, so we've got two more. I think I'm going to wait on him. Let's just move both of these characters up after they've finished healing. What I should probably do is just, honestly, even though it's not great with one sin, we might as well train some HP all the same. Okay, so workday is complete. I could leave, but I should probably suppress the horror. I know one, one Sin isn't the best trainer. Oh, it's that thing. Okay, its attack type is black. Okay, there's the Fruit of Understanding. There should be another one, but let's go back and heal first. Okay, we good? Yeah. I'm assuming this blocks some amount of black damage for a little while. At least it's not the horror murder mo- uh, the horror murder creatures. Also, this mod for stacking health bars is... Oh, is that it? Uh-oh. Okay, let's get the shields. I mean, it looks like it works. All right. 
Looks like everybody's fine. Move back, move back. There we go. So I want to escape before the next ordeal shows up. I didn't even notice that health bar stacking is super useful. Yeah, I saw that mod go by and I'm like, oh, I bet that's going to be life-changing for me. And so far, I'm not feeling like I'm wrong. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Basic information. So it does red damage. It doesn't actually do a lot. Wow, that is like by and far one of the most successful rounds I think I've ever had with this guy. He's really weak to black damage. Okay, new, new ordeals don't show up again for a while. Nice. Yeah, so in that case, I'm just gonna cycle a bunch of characters through the Fors uh, Forsaken Murderer for a while. Uh, just to get some HP. I guess I could spend some lob points on it, which isn't the worst. How many day resets have happened so far? Three today. Uh, overall, over the course of this entire thing, a lot. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just get both of their HP up. I don't think instinct is going to work too well. We could do a repression there, but iffy. I think I'm. I think I'm just going to ignore the top for the time being, at least for now. I mostly want to finish off this guy. All right, he's dead. He's got a big old hammer, uh, with a really nice-looking outfit, to be honest. Bad for the white damage, but whatever. Work speed works. Uh, success chance. Okay. An abnormality whose brain is imbued with rage, screams, and malicious cries. There's a wound on his forehead that never seems to heal. He hates everyone and everything. He wears a straitjacket, but is as free as any man. No amount of chains and restraints is enough to prevent him from committing violence. He always had to wear a straitjacket. Some say he was a death row inmate from a federal prison. The researchers were ca always cautious around him. They felt that the straitjacket couldn't contain him. The researchers wanted to study the, a murderer's brain to prove that innate, in, innate evil existed. It was difficult to determine who was worse. A man who murdered the innocent with no remorse or the researchers who wanted to open up his brain to satiate their curio curiosity. A wide range of medicine and chemicals were injected into him. Some were used for the sake of humanity's future, while others were for new medical techniques. They all had the potential of changing the world. The researchers were getting more and more excited. Although they didn't openly express so, it was almost palpable. They said they had found a cure, but they never said what was cured. The prisoner spoke less and less. His aggressiveness was suppressed, but at the same time he lost himself. After an extensive review, he was permitted to have, a straight, have the straight jacket removed. Feels like my head is turning into metal. I sometimes hear metallic creaks in my head. As the days passed by, he began inflicting self-harm. He con continuously hit his head again on the wall or hard surfaces. He insisted on checking if his head really was turning into metal. One day, they eventually decided to leave him with the hope that he would stop once he was wounded. However, even with blood pouring down his face, he wouldn't stop until the wound was so deep the whites of his skull was peeking through. He had, he had to wear the straight jacket again, but he was no longer feared or monitored like before. A researcher died. It would have been difficult to identify him without his ID card, as his head was violently crushed. Lack security meant the door was often left unlocked or unattended. The prisoner that everyone believed to be confined was moving around on his knees. My head turning into metal, folds in my brain, being flattened. He kept repeating strange words, and the final procedure was quickly put in place. Treatment was halted, and he was di dissected so his brain could be used for research. How do I know? I sedated him myself. He kept muttering nonsense until the end. Ends. Begins. Ends. Begins. Ends. Well... That was edgy. All right, let's just uh, keep training off of him. I want his equipment. So he's just a tad. We don't care too much for the goodies. Oh, and it looks like he does have a thing. A uh, regret mouth. Okay. So how much do I need? 25 for the hammer, 25 for the armor. 
Yeah, so I'm just going to alternate training instinct on both of these characters. They need it pretty badly. It seems like a good, uh, good time to do it. Okay. Try, yeah. I'll have to wait. Uh, eh. Air in my mouth. I always hate that. Yeah, I definitely want to get my... Is it temperance? I want to get my temperance up. Though, honestly, justice is probably the more valuable one at the moment. Maybe repression? I'm going to throw Mooch in. we could probably use that. Uh, let's see, do we want to just do more repression? Can these characters take it. No, Cryoris's HP has actually gotten worse somehow. I'm really curious about how? Uh, let's see, been waiting one million years for a library of Ruina playthrough. Pretty sure Wander played a little bit of Ruina when it came out. So I, I played one video on it and then I stopped um, because I knew uh, Library of Ru Ruina was kind of a follow-up and I didn't didn't want to play it without playing this one first. It just feels like I kind of have to. I don't know. How did you lose HP? As a question, it's probably something you're wearing. God, our characters look like freaks. Or maybe you actually lost something that was giving you a boost. That's the only other potential answer I could give. Okay, let's wait until they get to the Scorched Girl, then we'll switch. We don't have anything else, nothing to buy from them. Okay, new, nah. It kind of is. You definitely get more out of Ruina having played Lobotomy Corporation. And so that's kind of where I'm at, because, like, I really want to do a full series on this and, and complete it. But I have to uh, actually get to that point first. Mooch, you just start going down. There we go. How much longer do I want to do this for? A reasonable amount? I'm trying to get enough parts that we can buy the full equipment set. And it's easier to have that prepped and ready to go today since we don't have anything else to deal with. I also love Varuna because of cards. Yeah, I know that. Like, what I did play of it, I enjoyed thoroughly. Oh, send him home. I kind of wish I could actually modify these, the layouts of these buildings, like build secondary healing rooms or like speed or turrets, just for the sake of interacting with things more. I don't know. Uh, let me go full RimWorld with this. I would love that. I can never remember if I've specifically set this up correctly. If I'm doing repression or not. I guess it doesn't matter that much. I, I think what I'm going to do is just boost Cry and Susan's base stats uh, by one, just so they're less killable. Okay. So I think maybe one more round on the Forsaken Murderer? Possibly two. And then we're good. Okay, we definitely didn't do repression last time. So let's just send Susan in.
Wait, Lobotomy Corp 2 is in the dev developer's future plans. It'll be a city management game. All right, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I've always wanted to go through the entirety of the Project Moon back catalog. It's just time. Am I the only one to find this music haunting? It's equal parts incredibly casual and very stressful. It's hard to describe. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I didn't think, I, yeah, we didn't lose anybody. Let's see, did Wonder see the Rain World DLC? So I played it. Unfortunately, I, oh, interesting. Um, You're bald. Sweet. Uh, so I, I did actually play the uh, the new Rain World, the Downpour DLC. I just I didn't play with any of the new characters because I didn't have them unlocked. And so I mostly just kind of goofed around in Rain World for a bit. I might go back to that at some point, but Rain World is one of those games that is just like... The first experience I had with it was so brutal that I almost kind of don't want to do another. The energy output of our facility is ever ever increasing. You have proven that you are m much more capable than you originally perceived yourself to be. The high echelon is waiting for you. Our founder, A, is among them. What do you know about A? A, he is a visionary, a farmer who sowed seeds on a virgin soil no one had approached before. In time, he may express interest in meeting you in person. If that happens, you'll be able to make your dreams come true. Myself? Well, of course I highly admire him. But to be fair, he's the one who created me. He's also an enigmatic person. I imagine there are few who can truly understand him. In fact, to truly understand anyone is difficult. Will the day come that I understand you completely? Okay, so first and foremost, uh, I guess we're doing information team. So let's go read some lore. Okay, keep calm and go bald. Oh, it's a Zan. Alright, do we want to hire a new character? I think we do. Okay, so we've got Jonas. What is the most cute boy eyes? The most wholesome dude. You know what? Honestly, maybe we just do totally regular. There. Alright, front hair. I don't know what OG... Wait, do I not have... Oh, bald is like elsewhere, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Perfect. We got Jonas. Good old, beautiful Jonas. With his flaming red hot... Uh, flaming red hair. Okay, does it cost? Oh, it doesn't actually cost too much for that. Justice is expensive. We'll give them some temperance just for the heck of it. Yeah, it gets pretty pricey. Uh, yeah. Hi, right, Jonas, you are going straight to T2. You are going to be our Keep Calm and Gold Balls uh, tamer. Okay, so what I was going to do... So Newt's Fortitude is great. In fact, Newt's stats are outstanding. Uh... Nan, uh, Nan's is even better. Okay, so we needed a, we need a strength and cry. They are so killable. Okay, who else needs fortitude to Susan? There. All right, that should be better. Uh, begin management. E uh, let's go ego list. I don't actually remember what the enemies or what the the clippers even do. Why don't we just give him something basic? Give him some sweet bear paws. I don't we don't actually have Teth at the moment. Do we wanna just do we wanna just have him in the full Teth suit? Or not Teth suit, the so cute suit. Makes him bad against psychic damage. I don't think it's worth it. Alright, uh, we good? Yeah. 
Oh, I was going to read lore. Hopefully it saves Jonas. I mean, if I have to rebuild him, it's not bad. I have the technology. Okay, Sephiroth Dialogues. So we haven't done four. We need to be honest here, Malkith. You simply cannot suppress the ordeals with the employees you currently have at your disposal. Trust me, I'm head of the information team. Even if your team were to suppress the ordeals on their own, there's too great a risk of extreme mental damage to your employees. But yes, Odd, we only need to consider the mortality rate of the agents and the possibility of the abnormalities breaching. Malkith, Lady Angela said that one crazy employee will kill ten others. I am the Sephira of con the control team. I may make outrageous mistakes in all other aspects, but this role I know better than anyone else. I know how to handle employees on the verge of insanity. I even wrote down a code of conduct for it. Honestly, it feels like I'm the only one who follows the guide, am I wrong? Please tell me if you happen to, re happen to need it. I can always share a copy with you. I I'm fine, but that code of yours... I don't need weak employees in my department. Weakness means, means elimination. The death of your place in my department. To work with the control team, the department that leads the corporation, signifies that you should be more capable than anyone else. Manager, please say something to them. You've been watching what's happened through those weak-willed employees from the com oh, it happened to those weak-willed employees from the comfort of your office, haven't you? Can any one of you guys say something? Well, thanks so much for visiting me. It's made me so happy. We should meet up again sometime. All of us, Upper Sephiroth. I have an announcement to the Sephiroth of the Upper Layer. The mental, mental corruption levels of the control team's employees exceeded the maximum threshold. And just what did the other Sephiroth do in the meantime? Sit and watch? The control team has failed to handle the ordeals. Supplement the staff immediately and suppress the ordeals. I'll ask for support from the other departments. Screwed up. Okay, yes odd. We're going to talk to him twice. And that'll be it. Manager, you're the head of this corporation. You were supposed to set an example for others, but that outfit would warrant at least 10 penalty points in our department. The manager should be no exception. However, the rules state that a Sephira has no authority to impose penalty points on the manager, but must let you off for now. I'm Yasad, the Sephira of the information team. The information team is in charge of processing and archiving all the data of our company. New information is generated every day. We need to ensure that the information is accurate, so we must concentrate and focus on our job at all times. It may be compared to a massive biblioteca. A single bit of misinformation could lead to an uncontrollable disaster. I'm sure you can understand the gravity of my work. Every sliver of the information that you read contains the despair and desperation of our employees. Please do not think lightly of that information. It seems you're curious about my outfit. I have an aversion to exposing any part of my body. I don't exactly remember when I started feeling this way, but it's likely that I've been this way ever since I joined the company. It's odd. Do you have any spare paper? Our department could use some. Netzak, the rules state that we're not supposed to trade resources between teams. It should be in the very first page of the Sephira manual. All right, all right. Stop giving me that sharp look, Mr. Viper. Uh, well, I'm heading out. Not in the mood to get bitten today. What are you even trying to say with that expression of yours? Is this entertaining to you? Does the nickname make you laugh? My apologies, I overreacted a bit. The other Sephiroth simply used my nickname as a joke, but others use it in a more serious manner. I know there are many employees who genuinely despise me. Nicknames may be a childish thing, but there's no better way to describe a person in such a few words. I personally like my nickname. What's your opinion, manager? I like the sound of it. Seems we're in agreement then. I should get going now. I need to finish today's work. Not when I must send you the next assignment. Okay, so I think I just finished the first day on this one. So I guess we could actually just stop and stick to it. Because I think every time we complete one of these missions, that's that's when I read one of these. Oh, I just had to stand up. Stand up and quaff. Alright. So let's continue. Okay, so we do still have Jonas. He is properly equipped. Everything is good. Okay, you're bald. Insight. Jonas. Oh. I don't know why his work success rate is so bad. Wait, hold up. Oh, it's a 0%. 
Yeah, we already I already know this one. It's a non-escaping ident uh non-escaping entity. Okay. You still seem to be keeping your silky hair. You've been struck by the bald is awesome beam. If you all don't work now, every employee, including you, will lose all of their hair and become bald within a month. It's not too late. Okay, so I just want to read this one. Warning, you've been hit by the baldy bald psychological attack. If a non-bald non person reads this, they'll be granted the privilege to go bald in an extremely rapid pace. If one wants to stop this from happening, they must be assigned to work on this abnormality. In addition, if you find ten or more strands of hair on your pillow in the morning, it's recommended to peruse this encyclopedia article at least three times. Still, I had an amazing dream today. What, did you win the lottery or something? When I get to work, everyone here was bald, including you. Maybe even people outside of the corporation. Um, I think you've been pretty stressed lately. Why don't you take some uh, go take counseling? Employee Bill suffered an unforeseen accident with the singing machine that day. Right after the incident, abnormality bald is awesome appeared in the facility. We all cherish the memories of Bald Bill. If one comes into contact with the abnormality, they will talk or write about the positive aspect of baldness for an hour and ultimately make themselves go bald. If you become bald, you can save time because you don't have to wash or dry your hair anymore, allowing you to be richer than others. No adverse reactions will happen if a bald employee is assigned to work with the abnormality. The bald don't have to worry about hair loss. If a non-bald employee is assigned, they will shave off their own hair. Bald people can even reflect light off their head and blind their opponents like a solar flare. This abnormality's goal is to make every single human on Earth bald. We don't need light bulbs in our facility if there are more bald employees because it light reflects off their heads. This will allow us to save a tremendous amount of, amount of our budget. If a non-bald employee is sent to work with the abnormality, it will produce less energy. Did you know that every single noble in Europe during the Middle Ages was bald? They changed their wig every day. We've just added some new rules to the company code of conduct. Do you ever spot a triple X mocking their coworker with alopecia areata? They will be labeled as a cure suit and will be banned from using the lounge for an indefinite period. They'll also be forbidden from joining the company's debate club, questioners of the absence of bald Barbies, the gourmet meetup, octopi over squid, and the environmental protection group Save the Bald Eagles. These regulations will be lifted as soon as the rule rule breaker's hair strand count goes below one. Lastly, I dedicate this article to employee TH, who's quietly talking, taking balding medicine next to me right now. All right, well, we've already got this one. Matt, I imagine wander without hair. Uh, no, I still have my hair for the time being. Male pattern baldness does run in the family, so there's a very real possibility I uh, will be bald by the time I'm older, but at least at the moment, I'm fine. Uh, let's just send Nan in here. Remember asking Wander about this game back in March and he said he'd play it in July. Really kept his promise. I forgot I... Uh... <laughs> oh, Jonas, you beautiful bastard. Immediately gets the sunglasses. Doesn't even have to try. Alright. I should probably train Jonas in um, HP. Just make him a really tough dude. It looks like we're also doing fine with a Forsaken media, uh, Forsaken Murderer. Okay, this might this might go bad, but yeah, if I can if I can have Jonas become super tanky, like all three of these characters become tanky, tanky, they should be able to just take out the Forsaken media, uh, Murderer Meteor on their own without too much assistance. Wait, did Jonas already lose his sunglasses? What? How'd that happen? No, he still has them. They're just suddenly invisible. I'm not going to question these things. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful HP that this entire group has managed to accrue. Yeah. Nan got about 40 HP points from murder. Look. If it works, it works. Okay. So, the one thing we do need is gun. I actually don't think the equipment from your bald is particularly good, is the one downside. Ooh, we should probably also group up here. Uh, 
Uh, we can do one more. I'm just going to send Jonas in for a little bit more uh, fortitude training. Because, yeah, we're about to get a, a dawn event. It doesn't look like your bald gets me a whole lot of energy, but I will say it is probably one of my favorites, uh, favorite abnormalities to deal with just because it's so simple. There's nothing you need to worry about with it. Just chuck, have one bald character dedicated to just fighting it. Okay. So it's week two. Yeah, that should be fine. Unfortunately, Jonas is locked out on the mo at the moment. Okay, so I got to take a look at this thing. Attack type is red. Okay, yep. That bullet is exactly what we need. We might actually just be able to kill it, but let's not take any risks. I don't know how long that shield lasts for. A while, apparently. Oh well. Yeah, it looks like we've cleared it without actually, uh, without any major casualties. Boy, those bullets really do just, uh, change the whole game, doesn't it? I should probably stop training at, off of your bald, though. I can't imagine it's got a very good, uh, overall, it, I don't think it's got a very good training rate. So as long as they don't do repression on the murderer and insight, so we could actually work on temperance. That's fine. Oh yeah, no meltdowns. Song change. Yeah, you're right about that. I don't know. Okay, let's just work on some of these. I don't think I've touched Beauty and the Beast yet. Uh, cancel order. Let's, um, just in case. Let's alternate. I really wish there was actually, like, a visual indicator I could put put on saying, like, Hey, don't, don't repress this one right now. Like, if it actually flipped. It's been a while since I played this game. Still have to finish Library of Ruina. I'm looking forward to diving into it. People keep saying it's incredibly good. It's going to take a long time, though. Before I get to that, because I think I think this one's uh, a slow burn as well. I think they both are. Okay, so your bulb has the worst training weight. Even worse than one sin? Wow. Well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, do we actually train for a bit? I think we do. I, honestly, it seems like the easy answer is to just chuck a bunch of characters into the Forsaken Murderer. I wonder if you played Stray. I did a video on Stray. I don't actually know if it ever hit YouTube. Um, we're gonna have Shell specifically do a series on it. But, um, she didn't get very far. Your bald has six boxes, one sin has ten. So that matters. Oh, you're right. It is a joke abnormality. It may be a joke abnormality, but it's incredibly easy to manage. Which makes it nice for me. Uh, the main thing is, I do want to get its equipment. Even if... Uh, no, it's not that good. Because if I remember right, the higher quality stuff is also how you get... Um, uh, like the higher quality weapons and armor do even more damage. Like there's kind of a, a multiplier on it, I think. I don't remember. Okay, EXP is based on abnormality risk level, number of successes, and damage taken. I mean, number of successes and damage taken seem like they'd be pretty correlated. 
And I'm just going to keep chuck, uh, chucking Jonas in here. He has just turned into, uh, as far as I can tell, a cool game. <laughs> oh, Jonas, my boy. My sweet summer lad. Uh-oh. Oh, well, it's okay. I can I can chuck him in with Bald, bald is beautiful, beautiful almost immediately. Get in there, Jonas. We might have to get a second bald, bald boy rolling. Oh, oh no. My timing could not be worse, but it's fine. Oh, you're right. Extra durability probably scales the damage too. Yeah, so damage type must match the color of work. So taking SP damage won't buff fortitude. Yeah. Okay, I think we've given, uh, no. We just want to leave Jonas off of the Forsaken Murderer. Like, we don't want him to trigger the the next meltdown. And yeah, we do have all of our uh, all of our bullets. Oh, the mask has disappeared from Jonas's face. I'm, I'm just gonna train all of these characters ideally in as much justice as I can. Uh, his movement and attack speed is very valuable. I, I'm assuming. Okay, higher ego weapon tiers do more damage to lower tiered abnormalities and ordeals. And take less damage. Yeah, I thought so. The more damage taken during work equals more EXP earned. Oh. I see. So, HP damage for fortitude, SP for prudence. Both for temperance and ignore justice. Huh. I kind of wish somebody would make a mod for this game that is just, like, in incredibly... Uh, I, I want to say incredibly robust, incredibly upfront about every single bit here, including all the math and EXP and everything. Uh, just from the perspective of, I'd love to see the numbers every time this goes by. Okay, so why don't we send Susan down for the Scorched Girl. I don't know how much I want to stat train here. A lot, but not like excessively so. Okay, pause, instinct. New. Let's see, might as well repress, repress with Jonas. Mooch, there we go. Performing the four different tasks also gives EXP. Oh, like alternating them? Huh. The numbers have been, uh, numbers have been documented, but it does list, like, every abnormality. Ah. Hey, what is the, uh, failure rate here? Zero to six. Okay, so that's not actually that bad. Though we were certainly close. Yeah, do we want to just keep kind of repressing with some of these characters? Because... And seeing as Scorch Girl scales justice quite well, seems worth it. This is why Scorch Girl is a good HP trainer, despite doing better white work. Uh, because the red damage is a good boost. That makes sense. I'm actually pretty happy with my setup, because Beauty and the Beast doesn't escape. Scorch Girl is a little questionable, just in terms of... Um... Uh, is a little questionable just in case she escapes, because that seems scary. Uh, your bald is just nice and easy. EXP is the number of the parentheses. These, I think that's the, the stat numbers, sort of. Like the actual hard stat numbers rather than just the EXP. But I also, I don't know. Uh, 
Okay. I almost sent Jonas in the wrong spot. That would have been annoying. And the one other thing is, I do have to make sure I have somebody with a low prudence for skin prophecy. Because that is the one minor potential issue here. How much longer do I even want to go for? Or am I somewhat in a fine position and, and should stop soon? We'll just buy another gun. Let's, uh, let's do a smidge more. Oh. I see it's the blue numbers that's getting added at the end of the day. Plus five, plus nine. But oddly enough, not a lot of fortitude. Okay. Yeah, so Newt's getting eight. Jonas is getting so much HP. Let's let's take a look at Newt. Because if it's 48 plus eight, let's see what it looks like after this round. How much does it go up by? And yeah, stack cap is 100. I know that one. I was kind of hoping I could increase it past for certain things, but... Okay, moving around too much. So new okay, so we gain, as far as I can tell, 4 HP every visit. That's actually really good. Okay. Whereas conversely, throw a mooch in. Is it like a plus one or something? Because, yeah, currently it's eight, 18 plus 5. We're going to have to send somebody else in with a Forsaken Murderer fairly quickly. Okay, just throw Newt in again. Yeah, and it's not like he's taking much for damage. Okay, so next order of business is Mooch was... 18 plus 8. So it's 3? It's vaguely about 3. That's not terrible. Like, one sin is not amazing, but they're not bad either. Do I want to try this with Mooch? Let's see what happens. If I try Instinct with the Scorched Girl, it's probably a mistake. But I want to see 30 plus 0, how much stat does it get? Pause for a second. How much was that? Four. It's not amazing. Also, also, she didn't like that. So we shouldn't do that. I think it has to be generally a, a good work result. Okay. Do we want to end the day? I think we should fairly soon. Or Jonas in for a little bit more, more stats, but... I should probably get out of here before the next one. Yeah, so let's let's finish this round up and that'll be it. Move on, read a bit of lore, go from there. So how many abnormalities do you know about? Uh, 15? No, wait, no. It's got to be in the 20s, considering I've done up to twenty uh, day 25. So uh, rough guess, maybe about 30 then? 
All right, so let's take a look. So, Susan gained, wait, Prudence from three to two? What? Oh, because of the uh, stat book, of course. Okay, Justice went up. Let's see, Temperance went up a bit. Temperance went up a bit. Mooch. Uh, temperance went up. Is it just Temperance? And a little bit of Fortitude. Paradox. Got a lot of stats. Jonas is tier 3. Max HP is way higher. Yeah. What about it? Newt. I was correct. The book is a bit of a worry, but if I just keep somebody garbage, then we don't need to worry about it. All right, so new territory. One day you'll understand the meaning of desperation on their faces when the roulette spins. Life is only granted to those who hold no fear of death. The girl begged in tears, Mister, please cut off my feet. What the hell? Let's do it. That sounds very cursed. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if one of your subordinates, who is harvesting energy from an abnormality to meet the quota, He'll face certain death doing so. This is a very basic question, so I'm certain that you know the right answer. We must continue producing energy. That is not the perfect answer I was expecting. The truest answer would be to harvest enough energy before such a situa situation could arise. The Bottomy Corporation is an industry giant, and its mission to produce energy is our top priority. You do seem to listen to my words. I expect you to manage your subordinates with that attitude. All right. Uh, no. We want to go out. We've got some dialogue to do. Main menu. Do not... Do not spoil mechanics for me. That is bad. Don't do that. Because I actually like learning these things and seeing it for the first time. And if you tell me what it might be, that sucks. You've exceeded my expectations despite your first impression. Allow me to explain your next. Yes, Odd. I heard that your team had a ton of casualties. How many times has it been now? Shouldn't you be at your team's side? It looks super depressing over there. Accidents happen. I want them to understand that it's not a big fuss. Dwelling on it only encourages them to cry more and will eventually tire them out. But people have died. Maybe you should say something like at least some half-hearted commemorative speech to cheer the employee up. I mean, we should lead our department and all. Perhaps your aim is different from mine, then. I see no point in being sentimental, caring too much about the respect of employees or little complaints that make, uh, the, or little complaints they make will steer you away from what's truly important. Well, I'm just saying, I, I guess there's no right answer, is there? We're both busy, so I'll see you later. What do you think, manager? Should I go com comfort them for the sake of the department's morale? Eh, probably. I'm honestly surprised to hear that from you. Do you think it's realistic for you to show up in every department every single time an accident occurs? You're the man who st spends the whole day incessantly watching employees die through that shiny monitor of yours. I take it that you're only saying this because you're inexperienced and still clinging to the vague sense of goodwill, manager. Such shallow sympathy does no good in the corporation, so I urge you to be rid of it. Boy, that music in the background was sick for the, like the three seconds we had it. Okay, continue. Continue. Day seven. Okay. Do we want to hire another person? We should probably have like just an absolute garbo, garbo individual whose entire job is to uh, interact with the book. And do nothing. I'm just gonna give him a prudence. Th this character is oh, who do we even name name this one? We need a book sacrifice. And their name is fine. Go with Cleaver. Oops, and they're gone. All right, Cleaver was not meant to be. Uh, Rito. Uh,
Uh, I could do that. I, I'm trying to think of the wholesome verse. Who is the person most likely to be functionally illiterate? And yes, the sad part. <laughs> the sad part is, I think we've joked about Rito being illiterate before. All right, Rito, with your flaming red hair and your what is the most like up to up? Oh, that's the most up to we've got. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, facial hair is not really a, a thing here. Okay, what about regular mouth? Look at that one. Big, dumb, happy grin. Head empty. Entire job. Be brick boy that read books sometimes. It won't let me and I don't know why. Okay, so it looks like I couldn't get their strength up to three normally. Oh, insufficient lob, that's why. Alright, perfect. Uh, let's see, begin management. Oh, do we want to move somebody down, actually? Uh, let's see, who is who is my actually more useful characters? I kind of want to move Susan down at the moment. I feel like Mooch and Paradox are probably just going to live up there. Eh, or we could move Paradox down. Yeah, I think Susan's just going to live in Tier 1. Let's bring Paradox down. Okay. Wait, where? Um. What? What happened? Did I break it? Wait, all this stat gri- Oh. Did it not save the day? Well, that's- Thanks. I mean, it's fine. It it's truly not that big of a deal. Let's just go fast. The stats will show up anyway. If not now, then later. Yeah, the employee section is the save. I was hoping the end of day would be the end of day. But alas. We'll just, uh... We'll just finish the meltdown and go from there. Let's just power train Jonas's HP. Okay, she really did not like that. So we probably shouldn't do any more of that. Alright, so... Susan? Yeah. At least now I know and have learned. But I am slightly grumpy. Okay, so we want to do insight, pride, you go do that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep chucking Jonas in here. Oh, I bet you also get way more stats if your base fortitude is really low. That's why Jonas was able to get so many points so fast. Also, probably because he's taking a bunch of extra damage from this thing. Okay. give him five that time well no it definitely it definitely does give him more so i guess it is better to grind up a really bad character early but whatever yeah grinding stats really isn't that important especially because none of my characters permanently die and also i can keep them on loops so it it's it's not really worth my time or energy Yeah, let's let's just have Jonas go in a bunch. 
I think the, the trick is to some degree have one character at a time do hyper training. You can also spend lava if you're desperate. I mean, with this crew, yeah, we're going to have far too many characters to actually spend all the lava. Or we're just going to have a ton of characters and won't need to um, save lob for much of anything. Get over there. Fight the blob. I'm pretty sure the blob does black type damage. And I think the bullets have an AoE. I sure hope it does. It looks like it. Alright, workday is complete. I still think I'm going to go for a little bit further. Because uh, I want to get Jonas up to 60, 70 HP. I mean, we could just have Jonas hyper train here. Just chuck him in the Forsaken Murderer over and over and over and over and over again. Until his, um, until his fortitude is at 100. So that next day he is just beef man. For certain monsters, higher stats are bad to have. Also true. Hey, we don't even have the gun for that. We should probably give... Eh, his ego weapon isn't that amazing. Okay. So we don't want to do Rito. I guess we'll chuck Susan in. Fry is going to keep working on repressing this thing. Admittedly, it's only three justice points per, but... Fine. Okay, Beauty and the Beast. I think we can repress this one safely. I could send Rito at it. No. Wait for Jonas to heal a smidge more. Oh, he ain't healing anymore. Well, that's slightly unfortunate for me. He could probably do one more round with a Forsaken Murderer. Oh, it's because all of them are here. That's why he wasn't healing. But that blob actually cleared out a fair bit of my clerks. I might also specifically get rid of uh, get the mod that gets rid of clerks, or at least makes it so losing them doesn't harm you. Because some of those clerk benefits are kind of nice, and it's a shame to lose them. Okay. Give Susan sanity. How's Jonas's HP? Pretty good. Why is justice leveling so expensive? Because it's really good. Movement speed and attack speed are probably your most valuable stats in this game. I mean, like, obviously durability is important, but uh, being able to attack really quickly and move around really fast uh, just has so much, so much utility. It does seem like it's slowing down a little bit on him. Yeah, mortal clerks. I know it is an option, I believe. Rito, your time has come. Look at that book! And if you explode for looking at that book too much, that means you just did your job. Like a good little fluffy boy. Don't worry, if books make you uh, make your face explode. That just means they're doing they're working correctly. Pay no attention to this whole Jonas in the basement. <laughs> okay, it does actually look like it's slowing down pretty considerably here. 
Uh, so I will probably stop. So it, it looks like no matter what, um, even though it doesn't calculate his his stats, his maximum health as higher as a result of this, uh, it's still slowing his growth as though his stat were higher. So there's no real reason for me to turbo train uh, all in one day as it makes no real meaningful difference. So in that case, let's just chuck characters in, get some extra stats, and then call it quits when we feel like it. Cause yeah, what's Cry up to? 40 justice. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens when Rito reads the book too much. We just we need to find that out now. Because it could stop him. It could just prevent him from doing a thing. Or uh, I could just explode his face at a maximum value. And it's it's time for that science to do its thing. Okay, plus four. How much is Cry still getting from these? Two? Two. It's not like amazing. We're gonna go back. Wait, no, that's that's Susan? Oh shoot. That's not Rito. There, there's Rito. Made the wrong Patsy read the book. Touch the book. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Who was I chucking? Susan on that. Jonas. I guess let's give him justice. There's no downside to it. I can't imagine it's a whole lot of stats. In fact, it's probably next to nothing. He's at 15. Okay, Rito, keep touching the book. Okay, other question, Jonas. Gained two justice from that. That's not actually that terrible. Rito, touch the book again. Huh. Reader, touch the book again. The book is benign. He is just incredibly vulnerable to psych uh, psych psychic damage at the moment. Does it keep getting worse? No, it seems to cap out at 2.3. Wow. That book is perfect? Because in that case, what I might actually do is just use Rito as a regular character. Um, never equip him with anything, just keep having him do work in the top, and, uh, potentially just have him explode at some point. Because if he has nothing to lose, then we have nothing to lose. Vito versus black damage. Was it black damage? Uh... Oh, does he just take more damage from everything? I mean, as far as I can tell, it's really just white damage that's going to destroy his face. Takes one point of psychic damage and goes insane. Yeah. Let's get Paradox up to 50, and then I think I will, I think I will stop. Hyper training is, uh, has benefits. I think I will specifically want to get the times five speed mod. Because if I could be a times five speed on this, there is also a mod that actually just makes working with um with the abnormalities four times faster. I might actually get that instead. That almost seems more practical for me. Okay, so one more with pra paradox, and then we just stop. Yeah, I, I just want to have a bunch of tough bruisers as my characters.
Okay. Perfect. End day, proceed to the next day. Unfortunately, we don't have any dialogue because I goofed it and didn't save. That's really obnoxious. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if... Oh, ba 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 Save the employee? It's so simple, I cannot believe I have to remind you. The manager's role is to oversee energy production and that only. I'm not here to take care of that employee. Not that I've known you for a long time, but I never took you for such a humanitarian. Okay, and then it's the same thing again, so we're just gonna skip through it all. Alright. Proper day three. And get hod steam before you do training again. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna bother with training anymore. We're just gonna focus on goals. Uh oh. Oh, so I already have this one unlocked. Interesting. Uh, and I have to complete a dusk ordeal at some point. All right, so let's take a look at this. What are you? It's a pair of slippers. Um, who is Jonas? Jonas, go touch it. Jonas, you're a married man. I believe in your ability to handle women's shoes. Oh, we've actually got a lot of key boxes for the Forsaken Me Murderer. Wow. Okay, this this sucker takes a lot of boxes. I think I goofed it. Holy shit. Is there anything I can do? Nope. Wow. Absolute just no mercy. Do not. Do not do that again. <laughs> Strongest employee versus everybody else. Yeah, clearly. All right. Insight. Who is my not strongest? Newt. Good luck with the shoes. Oh, in the beta version of the game, any female character who worked with the shoes would trigger the effects. This is removed along with the gender employee gender because that was dumb. Yeah. Send Rito. Uh, fair. I could. I probably should have actually. I think I got some boxes. I could have maybe done something about that. Oh well. What the hell? All right. Um, this reads. Oh, oh, oh my God. Um, employees with temperance level two or lower should not work with it. It got three, though. Okay, let's try that again. Those danger shoes. I mean, we we could, in fact, chuck an absolutely Trashville character in wearing nothing. Um, it is an option. Oh, wait, no, but they, they wouldn't have enough temperance. Okay, so we tried that. What about attachment? Newt. One of these is going to make them not lose their minds. Like, I feel like I feel like the shoes are equal parts either one of the 
complete worst to deal with and also maybe one of the easiest. Uh, this is looking promising. What the hell? Well, at least we can get four bits of information this time. Um, I'm just going to let them kill everybody else first and we'll just see what happens. We might have to just kill them. problem is if I do the shield oh that it does work okay well Newt's dead so here's the thing I think we're just gonna have to send another sacrificial schmuck All right. uh what about repression good luck Rito Go touch them shoes. Okay. So the bad news is Rito is just dead. Right. Wait. Stop paradox. Uh oh. Okay, you know what? Let's just retry the day. Um. I'm going to try repression again, but with a character that's not dog shit. Jonas, go repress those shoes. No one has three purple. Wander blind. Oh, is it temperance? Oh, that's the issue. Don't be rude about that. I was thinking of uh, the white, not the uh, purple. All right, who is our new temperance boy? Newt, actually no, Jonas, strengthen employee. There we go, let's try that again. Yeah, no one has three temperance because I never trained it. There we go. I, for whatever reason, I always think temperance and prudence are flipped and I don't know why. It's not a case of blindness, it's a case of wildly misinterpreting things. Hey, go figure my characters are losing their minds. At least I can train specifically off of the Forsaken Murderer here. I think it's because they're both Enses. Because Fortitude and Justice. Okay, uh, let's see, I've got 10. So we know Repression doesn't work. Do Insight and Attachment. Oh. That's why it worked, works so good. Okay, so Jonas is a 60%. Let's work on Prudence. And yeah, start, <laughs> start raising my other character's temperance stats. Luckily, Forsaken Murderer is somewhat building for it. Well, it meant as a joking manner, not anything mean. Uh, specifically calling, uh, YouTubers and streamers blind for missing something is, like, one of the number one ways that people harass us. I realize that, like, many people don't- uh-oh. That's a bad sign. He's loose. Well. At least it's Jonas in front. Jonas can very much take it. Get back in the hole. Alright, so let's, uh... Instinct. It's okay. Start working on those. 
Is Jonas feeling hale and hearty? He's feeling hale and hearty. So I guess I'll level his attachment level levels here. Probably. 99% for level and 1 and 2 attachment work. That's funny. Yup. I'm just gonna keep training off of that. The thing is, I can just beat the Forsaken Murderer into submission constantly. He's not very strong, which is good. Okay, let's actually... Oh, we can't learn its escape information yet. Ah, damn it. Oh, right. You have to click on them to get them to stop. That's, that's how it works. Yeah, so this might just have to be like the cherry tree where I I have to every once in a while panic and deal with it. Okay, liked that one. Okay, bad, lowered more. Uh, let's see. When Clyfoth counter became zero, low temperance employee Samuel entered the containment unit. After continually attempting to select and converse with Dia, who is alert, they return to normal. Okay, so yeah, it's it's mostly just when it feels like escaping, it is going to um lure somebody in. So I got to get everybody's attachment up beyond um beyond two. That's not bad. I'm curious if the shoes will actually lure somebody in from out out of the sector. It probably does. It should still give me a decent amount of heads up before that happens. But yeah, that's where the clicking comes from. Still wish I hadn't been told about that. Okay, so let's get the escape information. It still doesn't give me the Clyfoth counter. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see what his temperance up to. Yeah, actually, pretty good. Forsaken Murderer does not escape during this period. That'd be slightly unfortunate. What kind of damage does this do? Red. I remember these suckers used to actually potentially kill some of my dudes and it was a pain. No longer an issue. I am getting better at this. It feels good. Also, these bullets help a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Keep working there. Yeah. Now, the other benefit specifically is temperance increases work success rate. Uh, it says 36, but I'm not... Oh, I see. Increases it by 8%. Interesting. I wonder what the maximum amount is. That's still useful, though. Like, at 100 temperance... What kind of bonus is that? And is it a flat bonus or is it a percentage on top of? So like an extra 50% or an extra 50? It's probably just a plus percentage. Okay. Let's see. Do a little bit more. And then it might want to switch. Okay, 1% per five points uh, for up to 20% at 100. Okay. So glad they put in easy mode. Is there an easy mode? I, I know I've, I've specifically modded it to be easier. Um, 
Okay, then there's additive with base percent, soft cap of 95% for the work. That's fine. 20% extra is just incredibly useful. All right, non-escaping entity and the red shoes. The work damage, it's red, uh, should be fine. Oh, we still don't have the repression work list. A pair of elegant red women's shoes. The design is antique. Oh, hold up. Workday complete. I forgot it paused. So unfortunately, I think them being taken over counted as a death. Sucks a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, Limbus Company is easy mode. Got it. Uh, excessive aspiration would bring about unwanted or unwarranted frenzy. Manager, among these three letters of the alphabet, A, B, or C, which would you select? A. So you've picked one. Good. Now please listen carefully. Letter A is a fascinating one. My name starts with it as well. Those who choose A are sensitive to the opinions of others about uh, opinions of others about them, and are results-oriented people. As such, they're excellent listeners and are loved by many. People will flock to them. This is a new pastime among the employees. I find it rather uninteresting. There is no scientific basis behind the observations, but it is admittedly a little fun to waste time with these tests. You know, maybe I could imagine whether I would have been this kind, this or that kind of person if I were human. Is it too odd for me to think about that? Okay, so we want to go here before I go back out to the main menu. Okay, so who died on that last one? I think, no, it wasn't Newt. Was it Jonas? No, it wasn't Jonas. So I think it was like Paradox or Nan that got killed on the last round. That's fine. Okay, let's go out to the main menu. We've got a little bit of story to look over. Okay, we are looking at yes odd three. The letter Z, huh, zoo. Ox? Oh, it's different people. Hey, that's cheating. That's not a place at all. It doesn't count. Uh, oops. Didn't know you were here, Sephira Yesod, sir. Sorry. I know we aren't supposed to slack during work hours, but he insisted we... What? You started it. You wanted to get back at me for the last time, remember? Shut it, you dork. I'll think about the appropriate response for this case later. You two, focus on your work. Uh, of course, Sephira, sir. We're sorry. Looks like word chaining is big starting to become one of the more popular pastimes here again. You happen to enjoy word chaining, manager. Yesod begins to get lost in thought. James, you know you can't enter the cell for work when your mental corruption level is above 80%. It's against the rules. I know, I know. Just this once, please. You know what happens if I fail to finish the assigned work regime? Besides, you know how Sally went in at 82% 82 one, 82 one time and came out fine? I'm only at 81%, please. Come on, what are friends for? Act so strict and the employees will end up isolating you. It'll be lonely. Just kidding. Even if all the employees were to hate you, I'd, I'll still be your playmate. You know that word playmate has no place in this corp. Whoops, my bad, my bad. Anyway, can I please get to work now, my lord? Yes, Odd. Don't forget that I cut you some slack yesterday when we were playing Word Chain. Fine, but just this once. And make sure to take a psychological examination right afterwards. You bet. Thanks, yes, Odd. See you in a bit. And James died. At times I see hallucina hallucinations when I change my clothes. Through clothing, I can see my skin covered with festering boils. Of course, my body is perfectly fine when I open my eyes. It has come to a point where I've begun to find the sight of my normal skin strange and unnatural. I cannot help but ask myself, why is my body intact? Why is it not rotting? I've asked the other Sephiroth about these visions, but it seems I'm the only one who experiences this. Ugh. Can we trust Angela? Does he know? I don't think he knows. He doesn't know. If if someone doesn't seem to know, uh, don't tell him. And also, I should probably mention, I don't know. I mean, I don't really trust her, but still. All right. Who is our Patsy? Get in there, Rito. I believe in you and your ability to interact with things and maybe not die. He's just going to sit there forever. <laughs> That's really all I need to do. All right. So... We are working on attachment to get everybody up to level three. 
He's at level three, so we'll start working on that one. Jonas, get over here. We might as well get it uh, get our temperance up to level five. Rita's just gonna wear that around for the next three minutes. Probably just for the rest of this level, and hopefully it won't explode in his face. Rito's specialized skill in this game is interacting with dangerous objects and is coming out fine. The sad thing is I, I'm going to have to remember to kind of uh, slightly separate the person out from the character because uh, I'm, I'm straight up going to tell Rito to go touch the thing in some other game and he's not going to know why. <laughs> okay. So, pair of, pair of elegant red woman's shoes. The design is antique, but there's no telling where and how they were made. It overwhelms the mind with the urge to try them on. The change that occurs from wearing the abnormality are first, vi are first visible in the eyes of the wearer. The next observable change is the wearer is unwilling to take off their shoes. They also act upon any and all desires that they may have subconsciously d suppressed. If someone attempts to hamper them from acting on their desires or tries to take off the shoes, the shoes will control its host, which sometimes leads to murder. Unknown whether the host's will is involved in the process, but taking into consideration the sharp increase of one's desires and aggressiveness, the host's primal urges seem to remain intact. Excerpt from Counseling Log. Redacted was a nice person. Well, they're also kind of a celebrity. They always told us their job was something to be proud of. They knew how to deal with all kinds of abnormalities, but it was our biggest mistake to let them enter that containment unit. We never thought a pair of shoes of all things would do any sort of harm. At some point, Redacted was wearing the shoes, grinning from ear to ear. It was, uh, well, it was quite strange. It wasn't a smile, it was omitted. Blood was all over the place. The tapping of the shoes echoed in the corridor. I closed my eyes and played dead. I saw one of my colleagues' head rolling on the floor. The shoes stopped right in front of me and stood still for a long time. Eventually, they moved past me. And that was right when I passed out. Omitted. I heard they couldn't take off their shoes and had to cut off their legs. No one ever saw Redacted again after that. But those who have been here long enough will recall the incident. Footage from quarter camera Z3493. So the work on your part is all done, right? I just finished mine. That little match girl is still in the same state. So frustrating. Want to grab some coffee at the lounge? You know, Redacted One, there's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Let's talk about it when we get to the lounge. I'm just too tired right now. Hey, are you wearing shoes? Only staff footwear is allowed during work. That's not important, Redacted One. What's important is that we're alone at the moment. What are you talking about? Wait, what exactly are you wearing on your feet? You didn't wear it, did you? Redacted one, I've loved you for a while. Take it off now. Do you even realize what you're doing right now? I was thinking about why you wouldn't love me back. It's Emily, isn't it? You're so busy looking at Emily that you didn't even notice me, right? I, it, is that an axe you're holding? You're bleeding from your ankles. Redacted two, I'm begging you, please take those off. So all I need to do is get rid of Emily. Wait here for a bit. It won't take long. You have to stay still till I come back. Please snap out of it, please. If you wanted to stop me, you should have done done that the day we first met. Redacted 2, stunned. Redacted 1, with their weapon, went to the lounge. Fortunately, no one else besides Redacted 1 was harmed, including Emily. Redacted 2 was soon removed from the company database. They were entirely aware of what they were doing. They admitted that the shoes only encouraged them to do what they always desired. Response team handled the suppression of Redacted 2. Afterwards, the Red Shoes ran away, tearing Redacted 2's ankles off their body. It took a total of 23 minutes for them to be suppressed, contained, and returned to the containment unit. Redacted 2 died of excessive blood loss. Redacted 1 only sustained minor injuries, but elected to resign due to excessive psychological trauma. Excerpt from Research Log. We received the report that an employee Redacted was alerted by the Shoes and was roaming the corridor. We immediately ordered employee... F-3054 to suppress her. She was a veteran employee with vast experience in suppression, so we expected her to suppress a female employee without any trouble. But she didn't return, and when the others found her, employee F-4002 was unconscious with both of her ankles severed, while employee F-3054 uh, was maniacally trying to remove the shoes from, her, from the severed feet. E. Dark. All right. Ah, the Heart of Aspiration. Those who equip it benefit from increased HP and attack speed. If one's ordered to return the Heart of Aspiration without attacking, they will lose their mind and have an increase in violent tendencies, and will attempt to attack everything nearby. 
Yeah, that's uh, a sm that's a bit of a concern. You don't just keep touching the thing. Okay, and I'm gonna keep throwing none at the forsaken murderer. Yeah, I just have to keep an eye on the shoes in case they start luring anybody in. Because that might be a bit of a concern. Okay, it didn't like that. So get ready for it to mind control somebody. There they are. There we go. Even though there's a slight risk on this one, I think it's still worth it for me to just keep raising attachment. I guess I could ignore it for the time being. Because it could also use it to raise insight here. But no, it's... The shoes themselves are not that deadly as long as nobody puts them on. And I don't think any of the clerks get lured in. I think it's only my own characters. Pick up the heart, put on the shoes. We got the makings of an abnormal berserker. Oh, gosh. It'd be kind of cool if I could use that in combat, but... I also recognize that that would not work, and it would be very bad. What's the uh, equipment on this thing? Ooh, Sanguine Desire, 40. And then 50. Very good against red, bad against white. Still worth it, though. Yeah, I want to get I want to get Jonas's Temperance up. Because, yeah, if we can get that up to 100%, eh, kind of. No, we should probably just manage it normally 75% chance is way better we we can train elsewhere on a higher difficulty creature Let's see do you want to know about classification codes for the creatures i know it goes zayn teth and hit which is also their risk level i forget the full um the full like naming and everything else but what is the gift Okay, hold up. I'm gonna pause. Sanguine Desire, Mouth 2, HP, Work Success Rate, minus 10, Work Speed, minus 10, and Attack Speed, plus 10, when the corresponding weapon is equipped. Okay, so Jonas is now hyper-specialized for two reasons. Um, oh, do I want to know the number codes? No, don't tell me that at all. So Jonas is now hyper-specialized for two very specific reasons. They cannot ever use the axe, which means to some degree, he's just going to live here, alternating between bald and kissing shoes. Worst things have happened. Uh, let's see, we could even train him on instinct on this one, but I don't think it'd actually be that useful. For the most part, I want to get these characters up to, I think it's 40 temperance, give or take. Not that this shoe is going to be kidnapping people anymore, if I have Jonas doing the right thing. And we're about to have a meltdown, so we should probably trigger that upstairs rather than down here. Okay. You know how I said, don't tell me, and then you guys immediately start telling me? Not, not cool. It's fine. It's not going to bug me that much, but still. It's very much a kind of, hey, do you want to do it? Uh, do you want to know this thing? No, not really. Well, we're going to tell you anyway. And it's like, oh, that, that's kind of mean. Like this is uh this is very specifically so I, I'm I'm going to say if you guys want to talk about spoiler stuff uh or spoilery things, I have a Discord thread set up specifically so you guys can do so. And I would highly recommend and ask that you do so. Okay, so this is Dawn of Crimson. Um I don't think it actually attacks, I think it just warps around, which is really bad. He 
Hey, Newt, you want to be a moderator? Okay, did, did I get the lower one? Uh, upper one? I did. Oh, well. The other thing happened. Fine. Is it still alive or is it gone? Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. There goes three cheers for the beginning. Now, where's the bomb? I don't see the scorched girl, which is genuinely a bad sign. Oh, there it is. Okay, so who's got the match? And is it any of my people? Not from that group. Not from that group. At least I don't think. I don't see anybody with a match on their head. Which means it's gonna blow up a clerk. Uh, kind of a tough bugger. Oh, they're the one with the match. Uh, don't be there. There they go. Alright. We good? We're good. God, that music is so good. I think we're done. The music is dire, but I think otherwise we are fine. Well, this is a great way for Jonas to really boost his prudence. And really reacted to that yet. Let's see, does Wonder know that each type of work increases respective stats? Yes. Um, I, I will say very specifically, like, too much, uh, be very careful about even asking those questions because they can often be leading or even spoily. Uh, that one's perfectly innocuous, but I know some people have been like, does Wonder know that, uh, if you get 13 hearts, you can get the Master Sword in Breath of the Wild? And it's like, oh, God. Like, realistically, that information is years out of date at this moment, so it's not particularly bothersome anymore. But I would have a lot of people uh, asking exactly that, and it became very frustrating. <laughs> the other thing we might want to do is actually take some of these guys here and just bring them down here. Alright, never did check. Newt says, oh god. Well, if you don't want to be a mod newt, that's totally fine. I just, uh, I know my usual moderating team from Twitch, uh, hasn't made the switch, and so I'm a little light on moderators, and so if somebody specifically wants to, uh, like one of my super regs wants to step up for that, I wouldn't mind. But I also have to be kind of selective, because the last couple times I just randomly selected a mod, it didn't go great. If people get very eager, and unfortunately they're generally not very subtle, it's why I always have to avoid even, um, I don't want to say, like, bringing things up, but uh, it's not uncommon for me to accidentally spoil stuff. Oh, hey, Rito. Yeah, this is done. What's this? Oh, Heart of Aspiration is great. Employees who did not attack any targets before returning the heart, or those who returned the heart before 30 seconds passed, entered a sta state of derangement, uh, repeating mindless killings with their enhanced strength. So, straight up, I can just put that, uh, the heart of aspiration on my character, and just let him do whatever. As long as I never return it, I never have to worry about it. It's great. Oh, we do also have, uh, Ouija kind of in the area. Walk you board. <laughs> Thank you. 
But yeah, I've had a couple of particularly bad moderators, so I want to be very, very careful about selecting more. It's been a while since I saw you stream on YouTube. Yeah, I'd stopped for years because I got uh, partnered on Twitch and uh, more or less made the decision that, like, that was... I don't want to say more valuable necessarily, but that uh, streaming on, on Twitch... Streaming on YouTube at that point didn't make any money. There was no there was no super chat. There were no donations. You couldn't become a member. You couldn't be a, anything more than a subscriber and gain me views. And even the ad rev on the videos or the streams was garbage. But and it would like clog up my video page. So I straight up just didn't. Um, I, I just didn't want to do any more uh, YouTube streaming after a certain point because it just wasn't as practical as as like streaming directly on Twitch. Uh, but like I said, the pla that platform's kind of staled in terms of its uh, appeal. Let's see. Do we actually... I could throw Noodlelot into this one, in retrospect. Yeah, Twitch has been going downhill by metric. It's been going for a while. That's still 100% better on Twitch. I think, I think it's more like... 50% to, I don't know. I don't, I don't really do that kind of like metric judgment. It's definitely better on Twitch because I, I've been there for a while and a lot of people are just kind of used to it and therefore it self moderates really well. Um, but I don't think it's, it's so tremendously better that I would resist streaming over here instead. Being a mod is easy, just ban everyone you don't like. Yeah, that's a very quick way to piss off your streamer. I ban a lot of people on YouTube. A lot more than I probably should. Uh, no, no, I definitely, I definitely ban a perfectly fine number of people. I ban more than I think most people do. Like, way more than most people do. Uh, because I don't, I don't really like, it's not sass. I don't really like people being awful to each other. And so when I see like one comment attacking another comment, a uh, commenter attacking another commenter, I'm like, nope, one of you is gone. Let's figure out why. Um, or if like I bring up something that I would consider to be like incredibly basic human rights kind of things. Um, and somebody will like go on a tangent and start accusing me of like kowtowing to moralists or something. I'm just like, eh, I don't think I really want you in my audience. Let's see, do I even want to... Oh, gosh, can I just get all of that? That was the reason why I was sticking around. Hey, thank you, Turk Turtwig, for the 7 Canadian. want to say how much I enjoy your content. One of the many here from Holy Potatoes. I'm happy to see you playing this game. Yeah. Man, that's a long time ago. Yeah, it's your stream, Ben, who, who you like. I try to be somewhat selective about these things just because, like, I don't know, ban too many people and you lose your whole audience. But, uh, oh, untended gardens grow weeds. I, I forget the quote. Somebody had a really good one specifically um, that I, I use as my, like, moderating ethos when it comes to, like, having to moderate my community is that uh, if you don't moderate it, you quickly just end up with a bunch of people that you might not actually want. Uh, you know, people that are mean and rude to each other or mean and rude to you. Was Holy Potatoes really that long ago? If you watched it when it first came out, that was 20... That was 2015? I think that was 2015. That was eight years ago. So if you if you watched that when that actually came out, that was like Abby Wander. That was early days for me. Um, but boy, yeah, if you've been here that long, cripes and thank you. Um, insight. No, it's fine. We have a secondary boy. Because Jonas is the one that has to interact with the baldness. Oh, the... Oh, 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 right. I forgot. Beauty and the Beast gets considerably worse the better a character is at anything. Which is a little unfortunate. Uh, you know what? I'm actually... We might as well have Rito raise everything else, as long as his prudence doesn't go up. 
And thank you, Deacon, for the $5 super chat as well. Cheers to the YouTube stream returns. Yeah. You have an unbanned policy. Honestly, no. Uh, my one... <laughs> My one problem uh, specifically with unbanning people on YouTube is my ban list is like well over a thousand people and specifically finding any names on that list is almost impossible and actively lags my computer. I usually don't ban people at all uh, unless I am certain that I do not want them. It's a little tougher on the live streaming side of things because somebody might make a mistake or, you know, be a much younger person and uh, say stupid things and not realize that, like, oh, yeah, these actions have consequences and then realize that, like, oh, they're no longer allowed in my audience and that's a little rough. Um, at that point, I mean, really, the answer is, like, just reach out to me on Discord is the answer. Uh... And if I ban you from there too, then, ooh, boy, uh, there's probably a very good reason. But that's like, you really have to be an awful person for me to ban ban you. Almost always is just a timeout saying like, hey, don't do this. And then if it's like two or three timeouts, then it's like, uh, no, I don't know. The difficulty in moderating is finding the balance between letting people express themselves and stopping them from expressing themselves too much. I mean, yeah, that was one of the reasons why it specifically stopped streaming on YouTube is I had allowed roleplay. Um, just because I wasn't going to stop it and people really seemed to enjoy themselves. But then it started getting into, like, actually really not okay things. Uh, that I don't want to say out loud because somebody could use it as a soundboard that would get really, uh, that... I don't want to say would get me in trouble, but, like, if somebody wanted to use it in a soundboard, I would look like a really dog shit person even saying those words kind of maybe not um but it was one of those where like the role playing got so bad uh that like free me moderating things or even stepping in ever uh i like actually felt sick reading some of it in retrospect so i was just like okay cutting that off completely and saying like never again um and like, that, that was the kind of, I don't know, that that's the kind of thing that I, I need to be careful about not letting get out of control in the future. Let's just do one more attachment on Paradox, try and get up to level 3. Yeah, it used to be wholesome. I mean, there was, there was a lot of time where it was totally wholesome. It was just, I don't know, every once in a while, a couple of people would just go wild. And then it was just like, nope, that that is no longer good. Was it ERP? Yes, but it was like the the kind of prime ERP. Because there are a lot of uwus. You know, honestly, I think this actually preceded uwus as a concept. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Shell said she'd be back at seven. Oh, hello. Everything got realistic. Manager, is something wrong? Ah, I see. Will you wait just a minute? If you cannot bear to look, you should close your eyes. There, I fixed it. There's a system error. How strange. It shouldn't have been so easily compromised. It's a techno technology originally developed during the war, now widely used for commercial purposes. It's not that impressive of a technology, really. The human brain is fragile. Seeing such a cruel and shocking sight may unintentionally lead to a momentary shutdown of the brain's functions. If a manager like you were to suffer such a reaction, it'd be very troublesome for me. So I installed a cognition filter in your display. While the cognition filter functions, dead employees will look like cute dolls splattered with red paint. Abnormalities. Even those who, would, who could ravage your mental state just by being in your sight will be reduced to adorable toys on screen, on the screen of your office. Trust me, before the cognition filter was installed, my, many a manager lost their sanity on the, that seat. I cannot allow you to join them. Okay. Final expansion level. But now we're going to go read some lore. Okay. So far, so good. 
Yeah, honestly, as far as everything goes, the only the only abnormality I don't like is kind of this one, and even then it's harmless. We, we have an okay setup. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. So how often are we doing lore? Every day or after every week? I do it after every day um, to catch back up to where I was. Uh, let's see, so yes odd. I think I might be ahead on yes odd. Yeah, okay. That day, James released two abnormalities on purpose, and eventually three clerks and four agents were killed. As you may know, having two abnormalities breach and losing four agents is a rather significant loss of manpower. Of course, it was I who ordered for James to be gunned down. I know the kind of place we work in. I'm not regretful for the fact that I was unable to stop him. It's that I regret having developed a personal relationship with him. I was careless with my position and let my subordinate exploit me. That in games. Yes, all of it was fun. Games was a good joker too. Of course I had fun playing word chain. We grew up we grew so intimate that I'd forgive his trivial rule violations. But the price I had to pay for the error I made was not triv trivial in any way. Manager, this is Lobotomy Corporation. We see body bags every single day. It's a lonely place. Sometimes you'll feel the urge to share the distress and anxiety with someone else, to have a friend. But manager, whenever you feel lonely, please remember what happened to me, and try not to make the same mistake that, as I did. You will be able to get over the meaningless deaths that way. I envy Angela. She's a truly heartless monster. People say that I'm too rational. Yes, saw the cold-blooded machine. Yes, saw the viper. Yes, saw the cruel and emotionless. A frigid being who won't even bat an eye at the deaths of dozens of employees. I won't deny that I deserve the reputation. However, uh, however, whoever built this place has to be a much more cruel person than I am. Sometimes I wish it was, I were an AI without emotion. A vague sense of sympathy will only cloud your judgment. You are bound to make mistakes that way. Why would they place AIs with emotion to handle the facility if they were well aware that emotion would only get in the way? Do you know the answer? Well... I think that's it until we get a uh, quest progress on him. Okay. Oh, that's Paradox. Of course. I was wondering why one of my mods had a name I didn't recognize, but I wasn't going to question it. Uh, let's see. Well, just diving into this one. We're making good headway here, but we might also run into some trouble. Okay, so first and foremost, order usage. Rito, go touch the thing. I mean, I suppose I could actually put it on one of my more useful characters, but whatever. Okay. So unfortunately, Paradox's Temperance, I think, needs to be at least at 40 or 50 to get up to level 3. I'm not quite sure where the thresholds are. Um, nope, no idea. I don't know what the thresholds are. I'm assuming it's 40 or 50. I really do like the lore for this game. It's an intriguing universe. It, I, I'm very much putting it in the same like environment as like Dungeon Dungeon Munchies and a couple others, uh, where it's just really weird and different, and super cool as a result, because there's nothing else quite like it. Okay, three three is forty in this case, probably. Yeah, let's let's just get enough power and get out of here. I don't I don't think I specifically want to linger on this day. There's nothing new to learn, nothing to grind for, no no equipment to grab or anything of the sort. I think we uh I mean I guess we could suppress the one thing, but big why? Now, do I specifically want? Eh, let's just keep working on Newt Sanity. And the lore expansion library of Ruin is insane. It's the reason why I want to finish it. Same thing with Dungeon Dungeon Munchies. Um, that all like SCP is one of those IP things. Like I'm honestly shocked. After Control, we didn't see a huge boost. Boost? A huge number more like SCP style games uh, crop up. And I hope we get more just because I think it's fascinating. Unfortunately, it does kind of limit itself to a very s limited sub, sub selection of like topics and lore. 
Uh, but even then, just the creatures themselves are so fascinating, it's hard to care. But yeah, at some point I will grab Shell and we will we will stream the rest of Dungeon Munchies. Because I know a lot of people specifically uh, have asked for that, and I keep meaning to do so. Yeah, let's just get let's just get Paradox and Newt's HP up as well. Let's see, legally not SCP. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like how Lovecraft, uh, most Lovecraftian things at this point don't actually involve Cthulhu. They might make inferences to Cthulhu, but uh, it's not actually Cthulhu. Okay, 63%, yeah, it's probably fine. And apparently Limbus Company is really good. I had originally lost some of my interest in this because I I was I was kind of under the false impression that Limbus Company wouldn't be that good uh, because it got because it's a gotcha game. I ended up buying it because of your unfinished playthrough. Hey, that's actually a compliment to some degree. I always feel really guilty about covering a game and uh, kind of from the perspective of I don't want people to watch me play a game and never consider buying the game themselves. That feels like that would be kind of, I don't want to say mean, um, but it's it's worse for the developers in that case. Okay, why don't we send somebody down here? Uh, just because, say if I stream a game to like 100 people and then get couple of thousand views on that and none of those people pick the game up i've effectively sort of denied the developers the ability to um to sell games to any of those people and like realistically it doesn't matter that much wow this group is uh very strong We're good. Perfect, perfect feud. Uh, feud. Perfect food is kind of dangerous if you're unprepared. But it looks like that group's actually not bad. Okay, Library of Varuna plays extremely similarly to Limbus. Cool. I wonder you convinced me to get Ring of Pain. That is a good game. Okay. Do two more trips into the Forsaken Murderer, and then we'll have enough uh, that at least Paradox won't get grabbed. My main thing with the shoes is I want to make sure uh, none of the characters local to the shoes are specifically vulnerable to it. Oh, the numbers 1 through 9 are the bullets on the keyboard. Oh, I pressed R as opposed to red. That makes way more sense. I just, I don't know, I, I see the R and I'm like, bro, press that button. But of course, it's the 3, 4, 5. I saw the 3, 4, and 5 as, like, number of charges remaining because, I don't know, sometimes dumb brain. As someone who's played a number of gotchas, I was really worried hearing Limbus would be one. But ironically, they've given the most fair gotcha, say, to date. There's basically no reason to spend money. Nice. I look forward to getting to that, but it's still going to probably take me multiple weeks to do so. Uh, let's see. Are we... No, we're almost done. I guess let's just... Uh... I guess we might as well check Non in at this point. I think... I think at this point, uh, if we pass the time, Paradox should be up to Tier 3 Temperance, so we shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Uh... And this entire area is safe from the shoes, pulling them off and making them do uh, dumb, dumb murder things. Wait, the numbers are hotkeys? Yes, apparently. <laughs> Helps a lot. Okay, so we could just leave? Do we want to just do that? I think we do. My voice is starting to get a little rough. And while I'm enjoying this thoroughly, Shell just got home and I'd like to spend some time with her. Um, but this is a lot of fun. I promise I'm going to be doing more of this over the next... Um, 
couple of weeks. Ooh, a uh, new one. I shall heal you, curing you of all disease and injury you possess. Ooh. Is anyone there? Can you read me? I repeat, is anyone there? You can call me B. I am an insider, someone who knows a lot about the company. Please understand, I cannot reveal my identity. I'm going to tell you the three truths that the company wishes to keep hidden over the following days. Tell me, please, why do you think you were hired by the company? Should I rephrase that? Let me ask you this then. Are you satisfied with your job here? I would say so, yes. Is that so? Well, I can't judge whether you're, whether or not you're telling the truth. You're the manager, but you don't actually know anything about the company, do you? Would you say that I'm wrong? Each time we speak, we'll need to be as brief as possible. I'm ending the call here. Contacting someone for a long period of time is dangerous. Safety team or training team? Training team, because we need HOD. Hello, manager. I'm in charge of the training team. Are you thinking of opening up my department today? Because I think we have one training thing that we haven't done for her that I need. Because it's actually going to be really helpful. Okay. And we can no longer reset. Hopefully, whatever this critter is, is not that dangerous. So, at this point, I'm going to move Winnow. Jonas lives here. I forgot about that. I think it's time for Newt. Newt to go on up. And... Probably Nan. Newt and Nan. You guys live up there. At some point, I'm probably... Well, I'm going to try and train up Paradox so Paradox can actually join them. Or potentially even swap back with Newt. Uh, but we will see. For now, though, uh, do we just... Let's just take a look at it. Let's let's just see the dang thing. What are you? What oh, the bird? It's a big bird. Hey Nan, go touch it. Go hug the bird. Go. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's Nan, not Nan. Nan, go hug the bird. It's you. New abnormality. Who is this? It big bird. Also possible danger bird. This one might be a problem. Or not. We will see. People's reactions seem to be intensely negative at the moment. So, uh, this could go badly. It did not like that. Uh, let's see. Well, it's got a lot of managerial guidelines, but they're all cheap. Uh, let's see if any of these are... Okay, so likes insight. That's a bit better. Then go back. Am I just gonna finish the freaking day here? I might. It's... Maybe a problem. Okay, the success ratio is better at least. Has a gentle crooning voice. I'm here to treat disease. When the day comes, find me. Uh-oh. Um. Um. Should I be showing this on YouTube? Oh, boy. What? And I say also unto thee that thou art Joshua, and upon the rock that I will build ends gone. What happened? What did I do? <laughs> All right, uh, let's actually look at some of these things. Because I think I might have just goofed. When the work result was bad, life off counter decreased. When the work result was good, it lowered, and then bless the employee who worked with it. When a trumpet level two emergency occurred, the life off counter lowered. When it reached zero, some employees heard it calling and went to its containment unit to be blessed. Those who those who have been kissed by it shall be re reborn as as the blessed. Nan, I think you just got buffed by a bibble. Um. Yeah, that was confusing. I should have probably hit a uh, screenshot on that one. Well, you know what? Oh, wait. No longer interact with it. That's a bad sign. Let's go incite, incite it on Newt. Newt, go find out more information about this bad boy. Or good boy. Or something boy. Uh, here's the question. Can I, can anybody... Okay, so...
Tell us, when shall these things be? Nan. Newty. Um. Well, it seems to like all of those. Uh, escape information. Very expensive. All right, let's just keep sending people into hug. We're just gonna... Paradox, you're next. Everybody hugs the bird. Everybody hugs the bird. Nothing can go wrong. This can only end well, correct? The bird seems incredibly friendly. Sweet bird kisses for everybody. I feel like I almost need to draw a custom thumbnail for every single one of these streams with something that kind of vaguely happens the last time, but also this next time. Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? Are we just pausing the end of days? Is it all 12? Ah, shoot. I don't think I have 12 people. One, four. I legitimately do not actually have enough people for that. So we should, uh... We should actually leave it for next time and get some more people. Uh, for now, I don't know, Par Paradox, go touch the thing. You seem blessed and pretty happy with yourself, so I'm gonna assume that that worked out. And we'll just send, send people there whenever the bird gets antsy. Uh, let's see, what do we even need? That's, that's a bad move. We'll just go there. Please, please don't, please don't get spoily on these things. Like, don't, don't even tell me to pay attention to its appearance. Because that, that actively spoils what I'm supposed to be looking for. Like, I know, I know you want me to be aware. I know you want me to not make mistakes here. But I want to make mistakes because that is how I learn. And also, that's how I make, uh, that's how I make content. Because this is going to be way less fun if I'm doing it the right way. But if I'm doing it the wrong way, also known as the fun way, uh, I think that'll be better. Okay, so all of these characters are going to get absolutely beasted. Uh, we should probably pause for a hot second. What is... Oh, it's this. Oh, hey, Rito. Your, uh, your weird heart is ticking. Go grab it. But yeah, if, if I need tips, I will ask. I will always ask. We still don't know its escape information. Let's read about it. Wears a black fedora and a beaked mask. Has a huge black wings instead of arms or legs. It is capable of human communication, though it prefers to talk little. It came to this facility by itself, claiming that the world has contracted a dreadful disease only it is able to cure. We could not find anything about this disease it refers to. It seems to like treating employees when they're injured or sick. It shows satisfaction when helping others, and it seems to be quite sympathetic and benevolent. Even after a week of observation, we found no aggression, violence, or attempt to escape. Only contributions to the assumption that this abnormality is eminently gentle. Both of our employees use this word to describe this creature. And good for us. Employee Alex, who had a serious scar on his, on his forehead from subduing an abnormality, walked into this abnormality's chamber with his scar's recovery incomplete. The abnormality, which is which normally isn't loquacious, started talking as soon as it saw the employee's scar. Observation record one. The abnormality asked, Why not? Why have you not treated that scar? Alex replied, I had no time, so I just gave it a little bit of first aid. Then the plague doctor answered, I shall heal you, curing you of all diseases and injury you possess. Alex came out of the chamber with his scar completely healed. Yeah, we could go wrong, right? Alright, so we do have the dawn... Um, we do have the dawn thing happening kind of soonish. Ooh, Nan's up to level 5 there. That'll be good. We want to actually bring some characters down to work with the Forsaken Murderer a bit. Just to get some stats? I think so. They can survive it. 
Lobotomy Corporation fans love to coach each other through their playthroughs. Library of Ruina should be more hands-off, though. Well, part of it is Library of Ruina is much more of just like a uh, straight-up deck builder. And so it shouldn't matter too much. Ego Weapon... The Wait. Do I have to go through all 12 people? I think I do. I think we do have to unlock the bird. Before we, um... Let's see. Uh, unlock the bird before we can actually see the rest of it. Probably. Unfortunately, that means blessing my entire setup. Which... Might not be bad. I don't know. I mean, worst comes to worst, we have it happen once. And then it blows up in our face and it's really funny. Also, those extra points of justice really make a difference. They are very fast. So I, I will have to figure out some kind of justice training si situation. Enjoyed Lobotomy Corporation a lot. Library of Freedom was okay and Limbus Company is totally not my thing. I think genre preference is going to be a bit of a deciding factor for a lot of these. Uh, let's just send, send the boy in. Or actually, why don't we just do Beauty and the Beast for a little bit more justice? Get him up to 50. Okay, choose for the beginning, which is... Um, scary there. Okay, order suppression. Okay. Hopefully by ordering suppression, they'll actually chase it around this time. I usually forget to do so. Okay, good. Our... The Plague Doctor is doing a thing. To whom? Not Rito. It's moving, but I don't see anybody... Okay, let's slow this down. I don't, I don't see anybody going... Oh, no. I don't think I can stop him. Rito is now uncontrollable. Well, Rito, time to get blessed, I suppose. Or died. Oh, oh baby. Give me a second. I need these screenshots for reasons. This is taking a lot longer than the last couple times. I guess I am on a slower speed. Don't worry about it. Ignore the f camera noises. Doctor and Jacob and Juliet, and he sh surnamed them Boanjernes, which is the Sons of Thunder. Yeah, that... Everything will be fine, right? Maybe? I guess I should probably work on Cry's Temperance so I can bring him down. Okay, let's speed this back up again. So it looks like the Plague Doctor only has a Clyphoth countdown. Um, trumpet level 2 emergency occurred. It lowered. When it reached 0, came in to be blessed. And they will be reborn as the blessed. Well, do we want to just end the day? I think so. I could do more, more than this. But we don't need stat training at the moment. And I want to see what Reborn looks like. Is it like if they die? The main question is, do we start the next day uh, with it? Well, 
F. The city still remained a beautiful place where the Emerald Road sparkled bright as ever. They're probably also going to talk to Hod at some point. What do you think of the Sephiroth? Don't you find them somewhat lacking in certain ways? You have the li liberty to disregard whatever they may say. However, please be kind to them. This is the burden we must bear if we want to advance their departments, so to speak. I have never had any serious discussions with them. They seem to be unco uncomfortable with conversing with me, most likely due to the fact that I am a superior being. Even if they're secretly jealous of my superiority, there's nothing they can do to change that. After all, I'm the most advanced AI in the company. Training team. We could also go to safety team, but that'd be weird. Alright, so let's see what happens to my characters that got blessed. Are they all dead? Because that would suck. I'm not even sure what that would do. Well, they seem to still have the blessing. Uh, is there a way I can actually check? Or, like, look at their... Ah, here we are. Benediction. Available to agents higher than level 4. This ego gift in this slot will not be visible. However, its buffs and debuffs are still active. Interesting. I think this one's lost. So we have the horn and the regret. Does locking it make make it so it's not replaced? Never be replaced by a new gift will lock. Um, I don't know how much I care about that. Oh, oh right, Nan did die and lose some did lose some stuff. Let's see, hat, penitence, regret, also sanguine desire. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. I think it just makes it not visible. Let's make neither of those visible. Because they're slightly uncomfortable. Jonas, on the other hand... Goop. Not that in it. Jonas, on the other hand, is... Yeah, there we go. Weirdly sexy Jonas. I need some other critters. Okay. Let's see. So we do have Benediction. Success rate. And that's a really good boon, but I'm assuming it's really bad. I also am going to need four more employees if I want to do anything. Um, let's hire two, maybe. What's the, what's the next character we grab? Okay. Ooh, jazz. Okay. Well, the hair... Actually, pretty much everything is perfect for jazz already. Um, let's go for, like, purpley hair, though. I don't actually know what colors jazz uses. Oh, brown is the answer. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that face. So let's give a bit of those. And do we just boost the temperance right off the bat? It's not a terrible idea, honestly. Uh, let's see, because I've got a lot of lob. Alright, Jazz, you just live down there now. Let's see. Oh, that... Huh. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're gonna hire at least a couple more people. Who's the next one? I'm taking volunteers on Discord. Specifically. Okay. Character is way too pretty to be a gurmudgeon. Also, we need to change the hair.
Uh, let's see, front hair to something more germ. You know what? I know exactly what hairdo germ should have. There. Wait, can I can I make germ's eyes go away? I mean, honestly, actually, I thirty seven or even the red eyes aren't terrible. Let's go back to I thirty seven. No, not those. Yeah, I think it's got to be 37 with that specific hairdo because it makes him look extra, extra weird. Oh, wrong one. Weird purple. Let's go for like kind of a dark. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Right. We're going to do fortitude, prudence, and then a little bit of temperance. I just don't want people to get shooed to death. Okay. Do we do anything else? The problem is I need 12 people if I really want the Plague Doctor to, it, to be a problem. That is a mushroom. Germ is a much mushroom. He is sentient fungus. And what other minion bots do we have at the moment? Oh, right. We got Wagyu board. Okay, red, but kind of like a darker red. And honestly, yeah, that's a fine face. Uh, let's see. Fortitude, Prudence, and three Temperance. Looks like I'm going to be limited before I get my next one, but that's fine. Wagyu board, you can live over here. And we got to hire one more person to trigger Doomsday. Um. Oh, right. Exynos. I don't actually know what kind of hairdo I should give to Exynos. You know what? That hairdo. That hairdo seems fine. And just pure green. Let's switch the mouth, though. Yeah, that, that seems... Eh, no, 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 no. More like enthusiastic eyes. There we go. That's an Exynos, if I've ever seen one. Uh, I think actually... No, they are also a purple, aren't they? Like, bright purple. There we go. And I guess we'll give him one point into. Oh, intro. Oh, right. Nope. I guess I can't get any more. They go live up here. And um, here's the question: If I return back to main menu, do I get to save everything? Please don't reset all of my characters. Wait, what? Huh? They're all gone, but it's back. You know what? I'm going to leave this for next time. That's just confusing. It's a bit of a shame to lose all, all of the characters. It reset everything, but it reset him. Well, that sucks. You have to start the day to save stuff. Oh, I thought I did it previously where it didn't. Um, Game code is dumb. Dang. Well... All right, fine. We'll just quickly hire those characters. Okay. Because I, I vaguely remember what everybody looked like. Um, this was... Grimudgeon. Okay, eyes 37. Oh, we don't care about eyebrows. We care about front hair. And we don't want any back hair. Oh, he doesn't seem to have a mouth. I mean, that's fine. Make it a little bit more blue. All right, there's our there's a weird angry mushroom boy. Oh, he does in fact have a mouth. What mouth is? 
is that. Yeah, that still seems about right. And right, next up was um, Exynos. Or is it Wagyu board? We're going to do Wagyu board. Okay, his was dark red hair. It might not be the exact same character. Ugh. I think it was this one. I think it was just the kind of regular default there. I think the eyes are still kind of vaguely fine. And I think we've got everything else. Okay. This was Exynos. Who's the last one that I forgot? There was one other character that I made who I've now completely lost track of. This one is Exynos. There's one more character. How do I for how did I forget them? Oh, it was Jazz. I forgot about Jazz. Oh, I do not even remember what Jazz's outfit was. Let's see. Right. Jazz has brown hair. Kind of that. You know, honestly, that's not the worst. I still don't like the eyes, though. That's not bad. What about the eyebrows? There we go. Ah, it won't let me. Uh, Prudence, one. There we go, Jazz. Sure. That mouth kind of changes the context of everything. Let's begin management. Well, it's back to where it belongs, so I guess we're going to have to uh, put off whatever it was going to do to do till uh, next time. I have figured out how to specifically delay the Plague Doctor from doing whatever heck, heck horrible thing it's going to do, which uh, the trick seems to be uh, just reset the day because it just moves him back, which is really amusing. Also, that's a creepy scarecrow. Yep, gonna have to leave it for later. So I will be streaming this again probably in a couple of days, maybe Friday night? I Unfortunately, my schedule is a little uncompromising, Wednesdays is wholesome first days. Thursday, I think I'm doing a, a pool party kind of deal. And then Sunday is grounded, and I might also do a board game night. I'm not really sure. Uh, but one way or another, I will try and fit in more, uh, more Lobotomy Corporation when I can. Because I really, really enjoy this game and want to play more of it. I just got to figure out when. For now, though, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I guess I'll see you next time. Even recording, am I? Oh, that's a weird feeling. <laughs>